I'm Ron Thulin. Glad you could be with us. In NBA history, only four teams have been able to come back from a 3-1 deficit. Ironically, one of the teams, the Los Angeles Lakers. 20 years ago, they came back and against the team of the Phoenix Suns. Joining me this evening is Doug Collins. Doug, there has been a lot written that L.A. has not played well. That might be a case of Phoenix playing well. Well, Phoenix is playing great basketball right now. They're doing it on the defensive end. They're rebounding. They're getting well-balanced scoring. And, and when you talk about games three and four, Ron, you can talk about K.J., you can talk about Chambers. The two guys that really killed the Los Angeles Lakers were Jeff Hornacek, 29 points in game three, came back with 16 in the first quarter of game four, averaging 26 points per game in the games three and four, and Mark West. Big game one. Everybody talked about they got to stop Mark West. Goes back to Phoenix, almost 15 points, 10 rebounds, five block shots. Those are the two guys the Lakers must key on tonight if they want to get this job done. Well, the Los Angeles Lakers have not played very good defense, but their offense, especially from Byron Scott, has been almost non-existent. Well, Byron Scott has got a, a problem. He's chasing Kevin Johnson all around the floor. But Byron Scott is an outstanding offensive player. When you look at him taking only one free throw attempt, Ron, he's not being aggressive. He must attack the basket. Mark West is foul prone. they got to take the ball inside him, get to the free throw line. Well, Kyle Fitzsimmons of Phoenix says this is now a three-game series. Do they want to take a chance and take this back to Phoenix? No, no. They, they want to end it tonight because they also know the Lakers are capable of winning big basketball games on the road. They know it's three games, but they want to end it tonight. They don't want to get it down to Phoenix where it'd be a must-win situation for him. Uh, Michael Cooper of the Los Angeles Lakers says it is nervous time. That may be an understatement. The Forum in Inglewood, California, sellout crowd, a loud sellout crowd as the Lakers take on the Suns, Ron Thulin and Doug Collins. Let's take a look at this evening's starting lineups, and there is one surprise as far as the Lakers. Lottie Divots will be starting at center in place of Michael Thompson. Well, Ron, I think what you're going to see there is Pat Riley is trying to get back Vladi Divac, he played very well in game two here with a real key for them. Did not even get in the second half of game four. They realized that in order to neutralize Mark West around the basket, they're going to need Vladi Divac. He, he is a much stronger player than Michael Thompson. He started five games during the regular season, has played in all four playoff games against Phoenix this year, has not started, and the Lakers control the tip. You said during the break that this is an unusually loud crowd from the beginning of the game. I think they realize they're getting the team excited, knowing that they're behind them tonight. The Lakers need to get off to a good start, a great steal there by Rambus. First turnover of the ball game, and that is not what Los Angeles wanted. In practice today, they only spent 10 minutes on defense, 50 on offense. Were you surprised? Well, you know, I think that they were concerned about their offensive execution. They're going to make Rambus make that shot right there. They're going to double up and force Rambus to be the guy to shoot from outside rather than let Hornacek have any room. Magic Johnson coming off that 43-point performance. Diva way outside. Well, nice play there by Magic. He had the shot. He saw Divac. Big confidence builder there as Vladi hits his first shot to give the Lakers the lead. He had 21.7 rebounds and four blocks in game two. He was such a factor in that ball game. Seven on the shot clock. Hornacek takes a quick look up, gets it around to Johnson. Two on the shot clock. There's a guy they don't want to leave. That, that's been money in the bank right there. They doubled up on penetration. Magic left him, and Hornacek starts up right where he left off. One on the shot clock when he hit it to Scott. Three. That's the shot that Byron has been settling for in this series. He's spotting up the three-point range off double teams, and he's been shooting a little set shot. I think he's going to have to be more aggressive and take it to the hoop. Only five baskets in four games for Michael Thompson, and that might be the reason that he is on the bench. Maybe hopefully make it some more offense, as Pat Riley said he wants to get his big men active as Tom Chambers hits the three. Well, when Chambers hits that shot, you've got to come out and play him. Then he uses that big drive to go past you. He usually uses his jump shot to set up his drive. Coming off a 27-point effort on Sunday, Worthy takes a step around everybody and doesn't get the shot to go as he takes a seat on the floor. Johnson with a one-on-three, wisely holds it up to Chambers. There's the drive you were talking about, Doug. Now, this is the Lakers at their best. Four-man attack on the break. See if they get an easy shot. 
Magic Johnson makes the lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> that is true because Magic got hung in the lane and he had no place to go. And fortunately, the ball bounced back to, uh, to him for the easy layup. Now, Pat Riley, Doug, has been talking about they've got to get back to playing Laker ball. What is Laker ball we hear so much about? Well, that's make the team not shoot 60% against you, rebound the ball, force some turnovers, get out and run. In game three, Ron, they got out and ran in the first quarter. They had 29 points. The last seven quarters of those two ball games, it was a half-court game. In game four, Magic became their lone offensive threat, posting up most of the ball games. And, of course, some of their offense is predicated on their defensive play. Rambis for two at the shot clock goes off doesn't get it West with a rebound got to put your body on Mark West 10 offensive rebounds in game one and here he's playing a tremendous series Chambers tries to get around Worthy and there's going to be a quick foul call and that'll be on James Worthy well Chambers was the, the man who everybody said was going to have to step up his game he played horribly really in games one and two he went home and the home cooking was what he needed Starts out this ball game with a big three-point shot. Kevin Johnson with the jumper rattles around, and he has his first two of the ball game. Three-point Laker lead. Magic's going to try to create the double team. If not, he'll shoot the little hook shot. There it is. Goes with the left hand. Magic has four. When he gets in that deep, he's going to be impossible for Hornacek to handle. J.J. out front. Scott battling through a Rambis pit. All belongs to the Lakers. 7-6. Phoenix on top by one. 8-36 remaining to be played. Kurt Rambis, seven years with Los Angeles. Four titles. And some of the Lakers were privately saying they miss him, but there's nothing they can do. Let's see if they get maybe a jump shot for Byron Scott off this play. He really needs to get himself going here early. He's a player that gets real sensitive and sometimes stops looking for his shot. Worthy spin move. West comes over to help out, and he is whistled for the foul. He said that Worthy came with the left arm. James Worthy, in game four that I watched the other day, Ron, never got in the lane. Everything he did was spinning to the baseline. They kept him away from the basket, did a great job. He got no offensive rebound position because of everything he did was going away from the basket. That time, you see him get in the lane. He gets in the lane and draws the foul. And that's what he has to do. Remember, Mark West is vulnerable to fouls. The numbers on James Worthy this year, the last three years, he has led this team in scoring, despite the fact he didn't lead him in scoring during the regular season. Worthy, you mentioned on Sunday, he was only 5 of 21 on Sunday. That hurts. Johnson around Scott. Byron tries to cut off the baseline, back on top to Hornacek. Devon with the steal. Now, this is Laker basketball. You want to know what Laker basketball is? That's it right there. And Magic can't get the roll to go down. The steal by d getting the ball in the middle of Florida. Magic Johnson, four guys running out on the lanes. Magic getting it in the middle. You're going to see a beautiful steal there. d with quickness. He's going to circle the post, knock the pass down. The first person now they look for is Magic Johnson. Now they're off and running, getting to the free throw line. Magic Johnson hits the first. 12 of 12 from the line on Sunday. His 43-point career playoff high. And if you remember, his previous career playoff high was 42 against the 76ers 10 years ago tomorrow. Well, I had a good view of that when I had an knee injury, <laughs> and I watched that one. That was a tremendous performance. He played every, just about every position, I think. His career was hurt. Inside, Chambers with the move. Doesn't get it. Rebound A.C. Green. Outlet to Scott. Devon's battling still in West underneath. Scott pulls up. It's a big shot for Byron Scott's confidence. Now his defense will even start to get better. Green comes over for the double team. They're really hassling Kevin Johnson. A lot of pushing and shoving inside the West. Did he walk with it? No. Joey Crawford says we have a foul. Kevin Johnson causes so many problems. The recipient is going to be Mark West. And you saw that time when Byron let Mark West get around him. Divac came over to help block the shot. That left Mark West all alone. That's why he shot 13 for 14 in games three and four. And Mark West has never been above 60% from the free throw line until this year. And Cotton Fitzsimmons knows that in a game such as this, you've got to hit your free throws. It may come down to that. Well, I think when you're a guy like Mark West and you're around the basket, if you're the Lakers, you've got to foul him. Don't give him those layups. Make him go to the line make one out of two. Let's not give him any easy baskets. I'm sure Pat Riley has told his team. The Lakers lead it by four. 12-8, 7.22 showing on the clock in the first quarter. 
Scott, you talk about driving down the lane, but we have an offensive foul, and that'll be on A.C. Green. You could see, though, Byron was not going to settle for the jump shot. He actually had a clear shot that time, but he was going to try to drive and make something happen. I still think that's a good play for Byron. In the long run, he's going to make more things happen by penetrating rather than just settling for the perimeter shot. He said he has to be more aggressive to the hoop. Chambers on the base. d comes out on him. Phoenix having trouble getting in their offense until there's like five on the shot clock. Johnson can't get the shot to go down. Magic gets the rebound. Three on two. Magic alone. Aston. We got somebody shoving here. I don't know who it's going to be. It looks like Chambers and maybe A.C. Green. And Mark West steps in between. And now Chambers and A.C. Green decide they want to talk about it. Quickly, Pat Riley comes up on the court, and A.C. slapped with a technical. Well, he gets a technical because Billy Oates was trying to hold him back, and he gave him a little push. A.C. Green's got to be very careful right now. Don't want to oh, yes. lose, doesn't want to lose his temper too much. Chambers was very upset. Let's see what happens here. Chambers going inside. He's in front of A.C. Green. A.C. Green gives him a shove. There's Chambers turn and slaps him back. You see them both going at it right now, so. I think they've also called a technical foul. I think they've also called a technical foul here on Chambers, too, because Magic looks like he's shooting a technical. Magic is perfect from the line the last three games. Let's take a look from up top at our slam cam. We're going to see it right here. You see Chambers and, and A.C. Green. A.C. pushes him a little bit in the back, and Chambers takes offense to it and slaps A.C. in the face. You know, if that's a, if that, if that's a slap, that's a technical foul, but if that's, if that's considered a punch, that's an automatic ejection. Chambers very lucky. 6.48 remaining to be played in the first, and the Lakers up by six. We'll be back. Angeles Lakers on an 11-2 run have opened up a six-point lead with 6.48 showing on the clock. Practice this morning at the shoot-around. Magic Johnson going around, talking to all the players, but it was surprising to see him run tonight considering what he looked like this morning at practice. Well, Ron, we saw him this morning. You know, he was really encouraging his teammates. You could see him taking the leadership, but it was so, to see him so hobbled early in the morning, I didn't know if he was going to be able to get through shoot-around. And you see him out here running. He must come in here early and put heat packs on his knees and really get himself warmed up because this morning he had trouble getting out of bed, it looked like, as, as lame as he was. I think the line that was said was, I don't think he could dunk a donut this morning. And <laughs> I'm not going to say who said it, but it wasn't me. <laughs> Chambers gets the loose ball, throws his body inside, doesn't get it. Divots with another rebound. And you talked about they must recapture Vlade Divots. He has a steal and a couple of rebounds. Here comes Hornacek. He can have a four on three, loses the handle, comes right back to him. Well, Cooper in the ball game early right now, calming AC Green down a little bit, so going with three guards right now. Which is what Pat Riley did on Sunday, and it did not work. Shot won't go down. Magic. All the way to the paint. Easy two. Well, Magic Johnson is playing exactly the way he played. In game four, he put this team on his back and he tried to carry him. Now Worthy and, and Byron Scott and some of these other guys are going to have to up it a little bit more. He can't carry it the whole night. Kevin Johnson over Magic Johnson. And KJ gets his fourth point. Quickly down court, Cooper. Now Cooper played a big role in game four and helped getting them back. Did not play at all in the first half. Divac puts up the two big hands, but he's whistled for the foul. That'll be his first person. See, there again is where I talked about Byron Scott. Byron has got to be very careful to challenge Kevin Johnson too far out on the floor. Because again, Ron, what happens it does, it compromises your defense. And I know Byron is fired up right now. He's got to back off Kevin Johnson a little bit and, and keep him in front of him. Kevin is the kind of guy you want to keep in front of you. If he beats you shooting jump shots, then you'll have to live with it. When he gets inside, is when he gets everybody involved and you get your whole team in foul trouble. Chuck Daly and the Detroit Pistons take another step toward the NBA Finals this evening, beating the Knicks. Hopefully you saw it here on TNT as Kevin Johnson now with five points and the numbers on him. Gets them both. Dan Marley has checked into the lineup for Phoenix. 6'6", 220, the second-year player out of Central Michigan, and his sons trail by six inside of five and a half from the forum. Worthy all alone. Well, that was a beautifully executed play. Byron Scott zippered up to the top of the floor, and then a back pick by Cooper on Worthy. Beautiful pass, a layup, well-executed play by the Lakers. And they worked on that this morning, trying to get James Worthy open underneath for the easy two. 
Johnson. Taints cut off inside the west. Did he walk with it? He'll go the other way with it. Third Phoenix turnover. Lakers with two. Kevin Johnson is much more explosive in these ball games than he was in the first two games. I think he still was battling that flu that he got in Utah. And uh, he looks like he has that step back now that he had lost in those first two games. Shot clock on the 10. Chambers gets a help from Marley. And it pays off. Again, great defense there by Phoenix against Worthy, keeping him out of the lane. Johnson stops, pops, doesn't get it. Tip by West won't go. West this time puts an exclamation point on it. Lakers must get on the defensive boards. They will not run without defensive rebounds. Phoenix Suns have been ahead three games to one four times in their NBA playoff history. They have won three. We have a whistle and a foul. Chambers is first. Still battling underneath. Well, what do you what do you want to do to a great player? You want to push him out of his best spot. That's what Tom Chambers is trying to do that time he's called with the foul. You know, foot out of his zone is what you try to teach your defensive player. The most prolific three-point shooter in NBA playoff history. Knocks down another. Cooper with five. Chambers pushes off. Doesn't get it. Gets his own rebound, and we have a whistle. Cooper. That looked like a charge that time by Tom Chambers. Debots had pretty good position. Looked like Chambers ran right up Debots' chest here. Boom, he lowers that shoulder. Nice little acting there. Didn't take Vladi long to get to Hollywood. <laughs> I love the comment, though. They say when he winks at you, that means he doesn't understand the word you're saying. Chambers, it's the first. Numbers on Tom Chambers during the 1990 playoffs, averaging 21.8, average 27 a game during the regular season. 5.6 boards a contest. He did not play well in the Utah series until game five, and his numbers in that game are really enhanced by the fact he got to the free throw line, made I think 16 out of 16 foul shots, but he came up big in game five in the deciding game on the road against the Jazz. I'd like to see Byron take this ball at Kevin Johnson a little bit rather than to stay on the perimeter, make him play. Devots can't get it to go. Marley tips it to Kevin Johnson, and the Suns are in a track meet. KJ on the left side of the paint. Shot will go down, but we have another foul, and he takes a slap at Byron Scott. And now Jeff Hornacek. You know how Scott. When, when, when things now get down to where a team can be eliminated, guys get a yeah. little testy, Ron. You know, it's all of a sudden the first couple games you're feeling <laughs> each other out. Now the Lakers are faced with elimination, and a little testy uh, atmosphere here, huh? Hornacek getting pushed, and Kevin Johnson, Byron get his hands on people, Worthy upset, Chambers, A.C. Green. So you can see right now that uh, this game taking on a little different character. Uh, looks like Byron's feet just went out from underneath him that time, uh, Ron. I like the fact, though, that he had the ball in the corner, and he was going to try to take the ball and make something that We see Portland all over San Antonio. That looks like that's going to be... A Jekyll Hyde series, whoever's home looks like they're playing very well. We will have, hopefully see San Antonio and Portland. We'll be cutting away to that ball game as our broadcast continues and see their game on Thursday night at San Antonio. 24-17, a seven-point Laker lead, 325 remaining to be played. Divac, another steal, and he's fouled, and he throws the ball in the back of Kevin Johnson, and a technical is gone. Oh, we're talking about the intensity. Getting away from the Lakers. Well, I think Vladi was a little upset. He got, looks like he got a knee here as he strips it. Kevin Johnson comes over. And looks like I think he kneed him accidentally in the right knee. And he just threw and hit him right in the back with the ball. So right now, the Lakers uh, very spunky here, to say the least. I think the crowd is into this ball game earlier than I've ever seen them get into a game out here. And uh, they are definitely that. 321 remaining to be played in the first quarter. And the Lakers lead it by six. We'll be back to the forum in a moment. Oh, they're not going. I thought they were going to have a timeout. d -Bots is out. Well, Marley plays, excuse me, Marley plays Magic very well. Keeps him out of the lane. Worthy from outside, comes up short, tipped around by Thompson, another whistle. That'll be five team fouls on Phoenix, so Michael Thompson will shoot two free throws. This is another guy that they're going to need. They need Michael Thompson and Vladi Divac playing well. So when one of them goes out, the other guy can step in and give them some good minutes. Pat Riley was so disappointed with the play of those two big guys in Phoenix that 
for most of those games, uh, he went without a center in the ball game, went with a very small lineup. I don't think he'll be able to get away and win the series by doing that because Mark West is too big. Pushes around a lot of people, but now Mark West has two fouls here in the first quarter. We still have 3.06 remaining to be played. Seven point Laker lead. The second comes up short. Quickly, the Suns. Johnson, a lot of shaking and baking. Michael Thompson did a nice job helping Byron Scott that time. You got to build a wall on Kevin Johnson. He's got to go into two, three players. Alley oop inside to West. They throw it over the head of the Lakers. Have it. Turnover number five. Now we have a timeout. 2:48 remaining to be played in the first, and it's the Lakers by seven. Lakers lead it by seven, 2.48 remaining to be played in the first quarter. Phoenix only shooting 33% in this quarter. Los Angeles 64%. And how about only one fast break tonight for Phoenix? Well, LA's doing a good job. But first of all, they're, they're getting the ball up floor. They're getting some good shots. And their floor balance is very good. Michael Cooper is an outstanding defense, uh, defensive player in the open floor. Byron Scott's doing a good job. But as I talked about, the Laker big men, they've got to build a wall. So when Kevin Johnson comes in there, he's looking at more than one person all the time. Once he gets inside the lane area, he's a very difficult guy to defend. Well, they worked on that today, the double team, and they had uh, like Worthy or Devots, one of the big men, pick up, and Byron Scott would just keep wheeling around and pick up a West or a Chambers. Right, and because they don't want to leave Kevin Johnson in the lane alone, and they realize that Byron Scott maybe can get over and get a steal. Rambus back in the lineup for Phoenix. Magic Johnson backing up Marley. Marley has really been muscling Magic Johnson in the last couple of ball games. The pat did right handed. Kareem Hook goes down. Well, so you see Marley's got him away from the basket, but Magic is making that shot. Normally, Magic can get in about five feet closer. Marley doing a good job bodying him out. Biggest Laker lead, it's nine. Johnson from inside the three, in and out. Won't get it. Michael Thompson with the rebound out to Magic, and the Lakers are running. Here comes Johnson all the way. I'll tell you, Magic Johnson is... Uh, Showing why he's a very, very prime contender or candidate for MVP the way he's carrying his basketball team right now. 15 first quarter points for Magic Johnson. Chambers, Thompson moves out on him. We have an illegal defense. That is our first, and Pat Riley didn't like it. This is Magic Johnson at his best. Strong crossover dribble. Once he gets in here, it's sayonara. He's too big to stop. 6'9", and he can explode right to the basket. Nice play by Magic Johnson. Magic already 15 points, 6 of 7 from the field. That is a productive night. Eddie Johnson will come in the Phoenix lineup. Four to second off. Balance jumper won't go down. Marley clears the rebound. You saw, though, he had a hand in his face. Cooper all over him when he took that shot. I'm sure he's told, do not let him go. Do not give him an inch. Johnson gets away from Woolridge and Scott. Four to sec, tries to force it up. Ten on the shot clock. Kevin Johnson in and out. Tipped back out by Rambis, and a third try for Phoenix. 11-point Laker lead. Kevin Johnson now just two of seven shooting the ball. Outside, Marley off the back of the iron. Magic Johnson with the rebound, takes it away from Hornacek. Magic again. He says, I'll try for a third time, and he gets it. Cotton wants a 20-second timeout. Listen to the crowd at the floor. What does this crowd mean to this team? What does Magic Johnson mean to this crowd? <laughs> I mean, my word, this guy is doing it all. In line to in line, he's taking the basketball. No one's stopping him, and he's going right through two or three players now. Ron, you've got to make, you've got to put some pressure on him. Once Magic gets up to the head of speed like he has right here, he's going to take it past. He's too big. He's too strong. Right there, you see two guys get out of the way. Got to make Magic Johnson pass that basketball. He's playing a tremendous first quarter, left-handed drive off the glass. Vintage Magic Johnson. The soft touch. Magic Johnson, 17 first quarter points. Chambers can't shoot him back into it. Biggest Laker lead. We are inside of a minute. And Magic wants it in the post. Scott, the three, doesn't get it. Thompson with the rebound, and that is something they also haven't done is the offensive boards. Shot clock, 16. Game clock, 35. You see Marley really bodying him out. Inside, Magic. 
Magic Johnson. I didn't even see who scored that, but I knew it was Magic Johnson. He's like everywhere right now. He said, there's nothing to talk about. We just have to do it. Kevin Johnson likes to penetrate on this, maybe find Hornacek for a jump shot. Lakers could get the ball back. About a three-second difference. Hornacek, the falling into it, and he won't get it. But he does draw the foul with 7.5 remaining in the quarter. But you see how hard he is working for his shots. Michael Cooper just all over him that time. You see Portland up now 14 in the second period. You see Porter and Drex are combined for 29 points. They have completely outscored San Antonio themselves. So far, Magic has outscored Phoenix team 19 to 18. Now it is 19 to 19 as Rambus comes into the lineup. Chambers goes out. All right, now, Ron, you're Pat Riley. Your biggest concerns are, okay, I'm going to rest Magic Johnson here in a moment. Probably going to come back in with James Worthy. Now who's going to pick up the slack? Magic has carried us. Someone now has to step forward and give Magic some rest. He cannot play 48 minutes this way. Cooper down to three. Pitches it inside. And with point eight, Michael Thompson knocks it home. We have played 12 minutes before a sellout of the forum, and the Lakers are trying to keep their hopes alive. They lead it by 15. When we come back to the after the break, we'll check in to Portland, San Antonio, up the coast. We'll be back to Los Angeles in a moment. Kevin Johnson up out of backcourt. Mark West back into the Phoenix lineup. A.J. sets up on the left side. Gets the ball to Eddie Johnson. Worthy will play him defensively. A.J. top of the key. Gives it back to K.J. He'll drive inside. Go to the hoop. Missed the shot. Get his rebound. Follow. Score it. And count it. Oh, that was a, just a brilliant physical move by Kevin Johnson, who got his own rebound. Then with his back to the basket, put a reverse layup up. Scored. Got it. And was fouled. The time of the game when you're going to come back, you really do have to get tough physically. He's challenged here by Michael Thompson. Comes up short on the layup, but gets the offense. Magic Johnson called for the foul, and KJ will get the free throw, and it's 35-23. Right side, Byron Scott for the Lakers. Goes in, well, Magic's there, all alone, gets the layup. You're not going to come back if you let him score like that. Well, Magic Johnson now with 21 points. 37-23. Kevin Johnson blowing by Byron Scott, takes it to the hoop and scores. Counter, he's fouled. And he'll go back to the free throw line. Michael Thompson is called for the foul here. Larry Drew replaces Magic Johnson now. Larry Drew out of the University of Missouri, a 6'2", 190-pound guard. Played in Italy last year. This has been his first year with the Lakers. Here's the free throw by K.J. Good. 37-26, and now Dick Lassens has got to concentrate on some defense. Maybe they can come back a little. Magic is on the bench. So Larry Drew against the Suns, Kevin Johnson. After Orlando over, go to Byron Scott, open from 20. He'll score. Well, I'll tell you, though, the Lakers are just running their offensive perfection. You get open shots like that. 39-26, the Lakers. Kevin Johnson over on the angle, right side down. KJ can't do it alone. He drives in, goes to the hoop, scoops it up, doesn't get it. Rebound comes down to Michael Thompson, out to Larry Drew. Drew opens the court up, beats Woolridge. He'll go to the hoop, and is fouled hard. He goes down, didn't get the shot, but he will go to the free throw line. Orlando Woolridge driving down the middle, and the Lakers have done a lot of that tonight, taking it right to the hoop, and Eddie Johnson picks up his first personal. Eddie didn't allow Woolridge the easy dunk. Woolridge wants to slam every time he goes to the basket. Eddie pulled him to the floor. Woolridge here in the Sun Series, 65%. 11 out of 17 from the free throw line. And he'll have two attempts here. First one is good. And the Lakers with a 40 to 26 lead. Just end of the second quarter. Dan Marley is checked out for the Suns. Hornacek is back in. So it'll be KJ with Hornacek, Mark West, Tom Chambers, and Eddie Johnson. Way to get the free throw stripe is Will Ritz. Gets both free throws. And the Suns now back with a, with a good offensive group in there. They have people on, this, on the floor who can score. But again, the Lakers up by 15, equaling the biggest lead they've had. Eddie Johnson out front, goes to Chambers on the left side. Chambers left to the key against Woolrich, puts the ball on the floor as his pass deflected out of bounds by Scott. And they'll have 10 seconds on the shot clock. Tom was off balance. Lucky that that was not a turnover. Eddie Johnson to inbound for the Suns. Hornacek breaks out, gets the inbound pass. 
Hornison on the left side. Out to Chambers. Chambers puts it down, spins. He's about 14 feet in the lane, puts it up, won't go. Mark West with the rebound, can't control it, but the Suns will still have it. The basketball goes out of bounds off the Lakers, Michael Thompson. 23 seconds remain as they reset the shot clock on the miss. Eddie Johnson for Chambers. 20 footer right side. Swish! Good. Off, uh, able to get open. Uh, what a few open shots the Suns have had. Larry Drew out of backcourt for the Lakers. At least 41 28. Larry Drew still the basketball. Stops, bounces it to Worthy. Worthy takes it in the lane. Goes to Woolridge on the left side. Woolridge looks like he travels. Goes to the hoop. Misses the shot. Tip up by Michael Thompson. Won't go. And West rebound for Phoenix. Head to KJ. Long lead pass. Chambers. Can he get it? He saves it. But Byron Scott. Picks it up on the side to Woolridge. Back it comes to Michael Thompson. Now to Byron Scott in the corner. He's at three-point range, but he likes not to take the shot. Byron Scott now lobs the ball to Worthy. Worthy out front to Larry Drew. Right side, Michael Thompson, 17 feet away. The jumper won't fall. Chambers rebounds up for the Sun. He gives it to Hornacek. Jeff Hornacek out of backcourt. Comes down the left side. 41-28 Lakers. Down they go to Mark West. One of the few times. West banged by Michael Thompson. Takes it to the left hand. Won't go. Gets his own rebound. He's got to put it up. No, it was stolen. Scott steals it for the Lakers. Here he comes. Right down the middle. All the way to the hoop. Can't get the jam. But a whistle here and a foul. So Byron Scott will go to the line. Foul is on Tom Chambers. And for Chambers, it's his second. Again, the Lakers going for loose balls and getting loose balls. You can see that they're not going to let Mark West roam free under the basket, and they strip the ball away from him. And Byron down the middle tries to dunk the basketball. He's fouled by Tom. So Scott will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Nine minutes and 18 seconds left in the first half. Scott's first free throw. Good. It's only the second time he's been to the free throw line in this series against the Sun. Well, he's been very quiet in this series. Now Byron Scott takes the look. The next free throw around, and he got the roll. So he hits them both. 43-28, and they maintain that 15-point lead. Lakers on top. Kevin Johnson sets up on the right side against the Lakers' Larry Drew. Now Marley's knocked down inside. And we're finally going to get a foul called here. A little whistle on Orlando Woolridge. And it'll be an on shooting foul. Three team fouls against the Lakers. Sons of Avenue, 24 seconds up on the shot clock. Eddie Johnson inbounding for Tom Chambers. Chambers over the right side, back to Marley. Into EJ. Here's his little jump hook. Good in low. Nice to see some scoring out of Eddie Johnson. 13 point Laker lead, 43 30. Larry Drew out of backcourt. Gets the ball to Woolridge. Over on the left side for Worthy. Worthy out in the corner. Gets the ball to Drew. Fakes, drives in underneath. And dishes off to Woolridge. Can he save it? No. Well, the Suns fortunately converged defensively on Drew to prevent the easy layup, but he wound up throwing it away. Larry Drew is very quick, but he did throw the ball away. Kevin Johnson for the Suns down the right side. They trailed the 13. Now he gets Drew to go down, takes it right to the hoop, and scores the easy layup. Vlade Divac gets ready to come back in. The Suns have it back to 11, but they need to apply more pressure defense. 43-32. Lakers lead the Suns here. Suns lead the series three games to one. Here's the pass into Worthy, and here's the steal by Tom Chambers. He wants to come linked to the court, but he's going to have to stop. Wait, he'll turn from 16, doesn't get a rebound oh. Worthy. Out to Michael Thompson. Thompson stops. Bounce the ball to Worthy. Top the key to Larry Drew. 18-foot jump shot. Good. So lost on that exchange. Yeah. Defensively, they never were able to cover. 45-32. Lakers. Kevin Johnson looks to Chambers. Post up in low against Michael Thompson of the Lakers. Wheels it out to Eddie Johnson. E.J. spin move in the lane. Keeps coming. Goes to the hoop. Shot won't go. Rebound battle. West and Thompson goes off Mark West. Lakers possession. Well, not a good shot by Eddie. He wanted a foul. Didn't get it. Vlade Divac in for the Lakers. Thompson will come out. Kevin Johnson will come out. That's in the Phoenix lineup. Now Larry Drew is going to come out for the Lakers, and Magic comes back in. 
So it's Hornacek with Marley, Eddie Johnson, Mark Weston, Tom Chambers for Phoenix. Magic Johnson, Vladdy Devach, Orlando Woolridge, James Worthy, and Byron Scott for the Lakers. Magic Johnson, top of the key, swing to the left side. Get it off to Byron Scott. He has it knocked away, but retrieves in the lane. Bounce it to Devach, out to Magic. Swing the ball to Worthy. Worthy with the running right hander won't go. Sons of the rebound, and it's Hornacek at the baseline. Hornacek turns it on, breaks down the right side with the basketball. Hornacek will stop. Bounce it out front to Eddie Johnson, out of Marley. Inside, they've got Mark West, but he is grabbed and fouled, and Magic Johnson. Gonna put a bear hug on him. See who the foul is going to be on. We've got some changes for the Lakers here. They see Green coming back in. The foul is the second on Magic Johnson. AC Green, Michael Cooper back in for the Lakers. And Mark West will go to the free throw line. West one out of two free throws. Kevin Johnson has 15 points to lead the Suns in scoring. Magic Johnson has 21 to lead the Los Angeles Lakers. Mark West first free throw is good. Mark got that one up in the air. You have to feel a little bit sorry for him, some empathy, the fact that they are just collapsing. Maybe that's the result of his newfound stardom. He's got to be ready for that. West waiting at the free throw stripe again. And he'll miss the second and AC Green. The top rebounder for this Laker ball club gets it off the glass into the hands of Magic Johnson. 45-33. Lakers leading with seven minutes remaining here in the first half of the forum. Magic Johnson swings the ball to Worthy. Worthy wide of the lane. Worthy moves into the lane. Fires it out on top to Green. He's going to put up a 20-foot, but it's short. But Divas gets it underneath. Out to Magic from three. Short. And the rebound is still saved by the Lakers. They get the long rebound. Worthy has it. Over to Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson out to him, the circles down. Dan Marley with him defensively. Magic keeps coming, brushes him away, goes to the hoop for the finger roll, doesn't get it, but he's fouled by Dan Marley. The Lakers took two shots that were way off and still got the rebound. Timeout here with 6.35. Left till halftime, Lakers in control, leading the Suns 45 to 33. We'll be back after this full timeout. You know, in talking to Pat Riley, he's been a friend of mine for a while, I think he sort of relishes oh, this yeah. opportunity. You know, he's backed against the wall, and really he's his best when he's in this kind of situation. Uh, I, I think that this, this L.A. team has, has really responded tonight to, to his leadership. In fact, his wife was even telling you beforehand, she says, I think he kind of enjoys being down 1-3, and he was <laughs> talking about that in the paper today, and he said, now it's a chance to see if I really can coach. Well, we know he can coach. Oh, yes. We mentioned 20 years ago, the Lakers came back from a 1-3 deficit as Magic Johnson, perfect from the line now. He has 22 points. And Jerry West played on that team, and they asked him what it took to come back, being down one game to three. And he said it takes a concentrated effort by everybody, especially on defense. And that was the key for them 20 years ago. Well, you know, when you when you prevent the other teams from doing what they do best and make them go to their second, third options, all of a sudden the big guns are silenced a little bit. You make other players step up. Hornacek and West have done that in games three and four. Marley to Hornacek. You can't leave him open. He doesn't get it. And that is the shot he had been hitting in the previous two games. Loose ball foul underneath. Is that a bloody Devots? And it is. Devots is second. Magic Johnson saying, I had the basketball. How could that be a foul? Now that's an important foul. It's not only the third foul, but it's also in a penalty. But let's take a look here. Hornacek with the shot. Magic Johnson goes up, and he has the rebound. And it ruled that Devots sandwiched, I guess, Mark West in between Magic Johnson. That's a big foul now because we're in the penalty, and Devots picks up his third. We had him down as two. They've got three, and it is a 17-point advantage also in the second quarter. We'll be keeping you posted on that ball game. West misses them both. Now, the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, West has been in the foul line six times. He's probably two for six. So they're not right. giving him any of those layups. Now they're fouling him and forcing him to shoot the free throws. Very smart move. You're exactly right. Two of six. Worthy still cannot find the range. Scoring is such a habit. And right now, James Worthy doesn't have that habit. Eddie Johnson, fans wanted to travel. Chambers on Magic. A lot of defensive movement by Los Angeles, but Eddie Johnson takes care of it. Now, the Lakers are playing great basketball right now. Phoenix is hanging in there. They're not able to deliver the knockout punch. An 11-point advantage, making 13 is worthy. Only his second field goal so far this evening. A steal underneath by Cooper. Oh, Cooper's mad at himself, too. He missed the layup. I thought he was going to dribble down the other end. Magic spin move on Marley to the hoop. He scores, counted, and he's got a foul. 
just stirred up a hornet's nest right now. Magic Johnson, I don't think I've ever seen him play with this kind of emotion in the last few years. This guy is, is playing just marvelous basketball. Cooper with a great steal here on the inbounds pass. You're going to see him. Hornacek trying to get it. Chambers throws it right to him. He misses the layup. Cooper then gets it back. And Magic with two uncharacteristic missed free throws had shot uh, 38 for 40 in this series. So two misses for Magic tonight in his last two shots. 42 now for 40. 46, shot by Chambers, short, Eddie Johnson with it, doesn't get it, Devon with the ball, and how about a seven-foot point guard to Magic, tries the touch pass to Cooper, can't go. Chambers, it's showtime for Tom Chambers. Pat Riley saying, Vladi, good rebound, please get the ball to our point guard. <laughs> Let's not get too excited, please. Good rebound, bad, bad decision. That's right. 13-point Laker lead. I like the rebound. I don't like the other stuff. Magic Johnson, that prayer won't go answered. And he does draw another foul as Cotton Fitzsimmons sees his team down by 13. Here's Vladi here with the pass to Magic. And uh, Magic normally not used to being on the wing. And Hornacek ahead there to Tom Chambers. You hate to see big scores get layups and dunks, Ron, because what it does is it opens up their outside shot. Always felt like if you could take easy baskets away from scores and made them work, and you can give them 30 points, but make them take five more shots than they normally take, then you're doing your job. How about those numbers, and we've only played a half? Those Johnson are back on track. Those are Michael Jordan type numbers right there in scoring. Pat Riley will send in Byron Scott in a moment. Lakers lead it by 15, 435. Hornacek baseline around Magic Johnson, the right-handed shot goes down. Tough play, but they made Hornacek put the ball on the floor. They didn't give him the spot-up jumper, made him create his own shot. Eight points for Hornacek. He's averaging better than 25 in this playoff series. Johnson down low to Devox. James Worthy wants the ball. Vladi says, I'm going to try a little hook, and he gets it. Michael Cooper right now is dogging Kevin Johnson all over the floor with, with uh, Byron Scott out of the ball game. A little different look, different type defensive player. Hornacek for three, doesn't get it. Rebound, Divac tries to tip it to Magic and he's got it. Here comes Magic Johnson with the Lakers. Shakes, fakes to Green, underneath. Doesn't get it, West with the board. Like you said, Lakers have not been able to deal that knockout punch early on. They lead it by 15, though. They're in the three-and-a-half-minute mark in the second. Inside the Hornacek. None of the Lakers even saw that. Oh, Scoop my. Shot. Oh, ho. Jeff Hornacek, beautiful play. Former walk-on for Johnny Orr's ball club in Ames, Iowa, at Iowa State. Running jumper won't go down, and we've got a whistle and a foul. Iris Scott comes back in. Let's take a look at Jeff Hornacek. Great play. Hornacek, this pass was not even intended for him. This was intended for West. It went too far. An up and under left-handed spinning shot off the glass. Probably learned that at LaGrange High School. <laughs> look at Jeff Hornacek. The foul was on A.C. Green. That is his third personal, and the Lakers have been giving a delay of game warning in the process. K.J. and Jeff Hornacek, those two players, and so many people credit the success of the Phoenix Suns for that, but the Phoenix Suns say the reason for our success has been Kurt Rambis. They've been 47 and 18 once they acquired him up the coast. San Antonio still trying to stay in that ball game. See Kurt Rambis, he's been quiet tonight. He's been on the bench a lot. Uh, you know what happens many times is you're a, you're a defensive player, your team gets behind, they need points, so they come in with different people. Eddie Johnson now a scorer, getting more time because they need to be able to get back in the ball game. Puts a coach between a rock and a hard place. You bet. You have to stop them, but yet you have to score. James Worthy with Eddie Johnson. We've got a whistle and legal defense called on Phoenix. With 3.03 showing on the clock, an 11-point L.A. lead. Right here on TNT. Join them for that. Well, Chicago with a big win the other night without oh. Scotty Pippen. Magic Johnson can't get the shot. Chambers with the rebound. Outlet to Kevin Johnson. Two on three. Ball up jumper. Yes. You played well. You're the Lakers. 
and you're only up nine. Pat Riley wants to talk about it here with a 20-second timeout here. They got 2.40 remaining before halftime. 17 points now for Kevin Johnson, and now they call a full timeout. 2.40 remaining. Greg Sager, LA Lakers lead at 54-45, 2.40 remaining. They have led by as many as 15 in Norm Nixon, former Los Angeles Laker. And boy, there was a lot of stink when he was traded away, but uh, it turned out the best for Los Angeles fans. Well, they got Byron Scott in the trade, and Byron had to come in here, and for about three months, the guys wouldn't say much to him. Byron had to earn his wings, so to speak, and I think he's done that with his great play here for the past few years. Phoenix extremely cold, only 37% in this series. They have been shooting 50%. Cooper can't get the rebound. Johnson does. Boy, James Worthy really struggling right now, Ron. His, his shot is off. He can't get any layups. Kevin Johnson has gotten a few layups. Johnson, the running left-handed hook. Rebounds for right-handed. Push back. Six for Vlade Divas. Chambers sizing up Worthy. Has to kick it back out to Johnson. Shot clock inside of 10. Well, those two guys play so well together. They read each other. They don't force things. Chambers didn't have it. He, he recycled it back out. He re-kicked it out to KJ. Screen roll. Kicked it back for the layup. This great two-man play. That 15-point lead is now seven for Los Angeles. Johnson takes Hornacek's left arm, puts it down. Divas, right-handed hook. Doesn't go. Chambers another rebound. And here comes Phoenix. Suns have a chance to cut it to five or four on the three-point play. What do you do defensively now to try to turn it around as Kevin Johnson takes it to the paint? Ball strip. Cooper, ball loose on the floor. He's got it. I try to keep Kevin Johnson in front of me as best as I can, and that's, that's almost an impossible task, but he's creating so much havoc when he gets inside. He's taken over the second quarter. His drives have opened up a lot of other shots for Phoenix. Magic Johnson had the hot hand in the first quarter, draws the foul again. 19 first quarter points. Mr. Reminder coming up at halftime, the Prudential Halftime Report. Craig Sager's in our studios in Atlanta with highlights from the ongoing playoff action, plus guest Lenny Wilkins, Bobby Kremens, and Dennis Scott of Georgia Tech. Dennis Scott, formerly of Georgia Tech, all coming up on our Prudential Halftime Report. How about, let's get a rumor started. Everybody loves rumors. Let's get Bobby Kremens and Dennis Scott to the Atlanta Hawks. Huh? Let's, 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 let's start it right now. Oh, that's good. I like that. Why not? As a package deal. Right That's right. Not. That's right. And Kenny Anderson will also leave at next year and I'll make it a whole big threesome day. Bobby Cruz wouldn't even have to move then. He could stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that had turned the Hawks from unlethal weapon five to lethal weapon maybe two and a half. Are you talking about the going to the paint? Here he goes again. Thirty-seven seconds remaining in the first quarter. Lakers trying to hold on to the lead. They up, up to the 15, down now to seven. Worthy struggling offensively. Good ball movement, Lakers. Scott left open for a three, and he buries it. That was all because of James Worthy. All the defense that he was getting. Great ball movement. Cooper with the extra pass. Byron Scott buries it. Last shot time now here for Phoenix. Let's see if Kevin Johnson can penetrate. Maybe find Hornacek or Eddie Johnson for a three-point shot. Well, Scott has been missing in action. They were putting his picture on a milk carton prior to tonight's game, but he has come alive offensively. West inside for the easy two, and you work hard defensively, and you give up the easy two. Well, that was a well-executed play. Devot stepped up to help. Magic Johnson, three on the shot clock. Pull up for a three on the way. Doesn't get it off the front of the rim. 24 minutes have been played, and the Lakers continue to hang on. They lead it by eight. Stay tuned. Craig Sager up next in our studios in Atlanta. We'll be back. Field goal percentage for the teams this evening. L.A. came out shooting extremely hot. Phoenix cold, and they flipped it around. Phoenix started to get a little warmed up. L.A. cooled down a little bit, 50 to 42 percent. Fast break points have also been a key in the first... 24 minutes of play. Phoenix with just seven. L.A. Lakers with 16 fast break points. Now let's go to Doug Collins standing by with Suns head coach Cotton Fitzsimmons. Doug. What about Magic Johnson? He's really looking last two ball games to be offense. You going to do anything differently with him? Not really. You know, what do you do with a guy like him? He goes coast to coast on you. So we're just going to try to play him as tough as we can. Thanks, Cotton. And back to you, Ron. 
Thank you very much, Doug Collins. 61-53 is our score. Kevin Johnson and Magic Johnson have been the big keys. Magic Johnson in the first half, 28 first half points, 19 coming in the first quarter. Kevin Johnson, 21 first half points. And Magic Johnson, Doug Collins has rejoined us. Is it Cotton said he's gone coast to coast on him? Well, you know, Ron, I think one thing you can do is you can try to pick him up a little sooner in the open floor, make him spin a little bit, make him change direction, use, use a little more energy up in the backcourt. When he doesn't have to, to face any kind of up-court pressure, Magic will just run the ball right down your throat. How about Kevin Johnson? He also started to take it inside a little bit more in the second quarter. Well, you know, he really was the guy that got them back into it. We see Larry Drew there trying to taste, take the charge. Kevin Johnson actually got three driving layups in that second period to keep his team involved. 21 points, you see, 8 for 15. So both point guards have taken 15 and 16 shots, which means that they're really trying to take the burden of their offense on their own shoulders. And one of the keys that Pat Riley said that he wanted to get Vladi Divac in the offense a little bit more, he does have six points and five rebounds, but Magic Johnson is the man, and Kevin Johnson is the man. Chambers and Hornacek with ten apiece. I still think the guy, James Worthy, is the guy that's got to get on track. If they're going to win in Phoenix, if there is a game six, they're going to really need James Worthy. Vladi Divac rebound number six. As Jeff Hornacek can't get the first shot of the second half to go down, Ron Thule and Doug Collins from the Forum in Los Angeles. Glad you could be with us this evening as the Lakers try to keep those playoff hopes alive. Magic inside off the glass. He picks up where he left off. We see Cotton Fitzsimmons just wiping his eyes like, my goodness, what are we going to do with Magic tonight? Marley pushing him out, but Magic doing whatever he wants to do on the offensive end of the floor. Fans wanted to walk. Chambers can't get the shot to go down. Magic gets the rebound. He's leading the break to Scott. Pull-up jumper. Doesn't get it. Chambers over Hornacek for the board. I think if you would have seen the Lakers score there, Cotton would have probably got a quick 20-second timeout. He does not want to give the Lakers any surges to start this third period. He's also said prior to that interview to you that they've taken just about all the hits L.A.'s given them, and they has, have withstood that. I thought they did. I thought they took the emotion out of the game. Now it's execution. Marley starting the second half, takes it to the hole. How about the fourth personal foul on Vladi Divac? And up the coast a little bit. It is a 16-point Portland lead in the third quarter, and they also cannot put the knockout punch on San Antonio. They're up 16, up 13, but they can't put the Spurs away. Well, it looks to me like in seeing that game from a distance right now that Porter and Drexler are having big ball games, so the guards on both sides of their games tonight are really playing big. Kevin Johnson, Magic Johnson, Porter, and Drexler. 1990 playoff average, 11. In this series, Marley's averaging just under that at 10. And he gets both free throws, and that is his first two points of the ball game. The lead is down to eight. See if they go to Worthy here to try to get him a basket. How does a player like Worthy get back in? You've heard when you were a kid, you shoot your way out of it as Lade Divas with the pull up jumper drops it down. You, do, but you don't force shots, Ron. You know, if you get a double team, you find the open man, and James Worthy has done that. He's just not been able to shake loose from Tom Chambers. T Chambers doing a very, very good job defensively. Kevin Johnson between the legs. Scott stays right with him, like you said, keeping in front of Kevin Johnson. Marley dishes off to West. Now, Divac playing with four, doesn't get it. Divac gets rebound number seven. Magic puts the ball on his hip, stops, pops, doesn't get it. And it's ten boards now. Ten-point Laker lead inside of ten minutes. Divac and Mark West really going at it in the post right now. Chambers off-balance shot, whistle, and a foul. See, the one thing about James Worthy, he's having to play Tom Chambers on the other end, too. So a little bit like Kevin Johnson and Byron Scott, Worthy working so very hard on both ends of the floor. Basically, Phoenix in their offense plays a lot of two-man basketball with K.J. and Chambers, so he's always playing screens, jumping out and helping. That has a tendency to take away from your game a little bit, and right now, James Worthy not getting any easy baskets, and when you're forced to struggle and make outside shots, sometimes you feel like you can never get it going. Magic Johnson, they asked him about Byron Scott covering K.J. and having to work so much defensively. He said, still, it's, he goes, I know they're working hard, but it's no excuse. He still has to, he still has to score for us. Chambers I gets them both. I felt like on the uh, games three and four when I was in Phoenix, that Byron Scott needed to get 15 points for the Lakers to win. He got nine and he got four. They would not get it done like that. The outside shooting also opens up the inside game. Divas to Scott for a three. 
Doesn't get it. Rebound Marley. And at the six here if they score. Johnson bought a break. Threw it to West, who had his back turned, turned just in time to get the ball. The Hornacek takes it inside the paint, dishes off. Easy two, missed by West. Knocked out, Lakers have it. What happens? Dribble penetration, Hornacek. Pivot's coming over. Lottie's going to have to fake and recover to get back. He's stepping up there, and the Suns are just dropping the ball off to West. That time he blew a real easy opportunity. Are you surprised Pat Riley's going with Divas with four personal fouls? No, I think at home he feels like he's got to recapture this guy. He's got to get him playing basketball if they're going to win again in this series. Magic back out to Scott, who can't find the range on his jumper. Hornacek tries to pull on A.C. Green, and he'll be whistled for the foul. A.C. Green is playing a very emotional basketball game. I thought he, he and Magic Johnson played the best of the Lakers in game four down in Phoenix. You're going to see A.C. Green and Hornacek right there. A.C. just throws him to the side and gets up strong for the rebound. We've got another whistle, says Joe Crawford. And that is Marley, his whistle for the foul. That is his third personal. A.C. Green averaging 14 points in this four-game playoff series is yet to score this evening. You know, Cotton started Marley here to start this third period for defense, realizing, as we see Worthy in the lane, realizing that the, they needed to make a defensive stand here early. That's why Marley's in the ball game instead of Rambus. A lot of coaches talk about the first five minutes of the second half. Good job by Divac to Scott. Takes it straight into the hole, dishes off. Let me, tell you something. Let me tell you something. James Worthy was wide open on the wing. A.C. Green didn't see him. He got it to Byron Scott. Those are the kind of baskets that Worthy needs to get. You saw Worthy sort of put his arms in the air like, come on, A.C., I was open. A.C. just didn't see him. He's normally not a middleman on the fast break. And that hurts when you lead by 10 and you're trying to put your opponent away. And you're also wanting to get your leading playoff score some baskets. Mark West on top to Johnson. Shot clock at 7. Devots almost with another steal. Leaves Chambers open for a three. That'll be an air ball, and it goes out. Lakers have it. Now, I want to clarify this thing with Rambus. Rambus is an excellent defensive player, but they want Marley on Magic Johnson because Magic started the game so quickly, and you can see he's trying to do the same thing here in this period. Tom Chambers' air ball makes him 4 of 14 this evening from the floor. Magic Johnson to Worthy. Chambers on him. Fakes one way, goes up with the left hand, and he just cannot buy a basket. Well, Chambers doing a great job. You've got to yeah. give him a lot of credit. The Hornacek, his pull up from 17, nothing but the bottom of the net. Quickly magic to Hound Court. Lead cut to eight. So you got uh, A.C. Green being played by Jeff Hornacek, but A.C.'s not going to post him up. He maybe will get some offensive rebounds, but he will not post him. Scott almost throws it away. Worthy with the left hand, and he can't even get that one to go down. Magic goes into the crowd. And they say the ball belongs to Phoenix, and Magic doesn't like it. And now Joe Crawford says, wait a minute, I'm going to come over. I think I've got to go in the other way. We'll see. There's Marley hitting it. Uh, it looked like it went off... Uh, Magic Johnson. Look like he went off Magic Johnson, but there's a well, Cotton didn't like it. conflicting call here. So you know what? The easiest thing to do is have a jump ball. You got it. <laughs> when in doubt, jump it up. When in doubt, jump ball. And Magic will jump it up with Marley. Portland is starting to slide away a little bit there. San Antonio down now to a nine-point lead. The Ensign's taking over, or whatever rank he has now. 7.09 remaining. 67-59, Lakers have led all the way. Kevin Johnson inside the paint as it stripped away. He wanted a foul. Worthy leading the break. To Divas, to Magic, to the basket. Yes. 32. And that's the first of the last five fast breaks that the Lakers have finished. K.J. all the way off the glass. What a tremendous player. Can you imagine Lenny Wilkins at one time had Kevin Johnson and Mark Price on the same team? What a luxury. Eight-point Laker lead. Phoenix trying to withstand the emotion here at the Forum, along with the Lakers. Vale Divac goes down. He is hurt. He got hit in the throat. He is grabbing his throat inside. We've got James Worthy with an offensive foul, and Vlade Divac is still down, getting up slowly. Vlade's down, and we have a commercial break. 621 will update his condition when we come back. It is an eight-point L.A. lead at the Forum in Inglewood. 
sold out for him in Inglewood, California, where the Lakers once held a 15-point advantage, now down to eight. Lottie Devons took one in the throat. He is up. He seems to be okay. Well, let's look at it and try to see what happened. Well, it's going to be he and Mark West working here hard together. Looks like he got in the chest, though, from Kevin Johnson. Looks like, like Kevin Johnson might have got him going by him. Well, Kevin Johnson, 6'1", 190. Vlade Divac stands 7'1", 248. The little guy got the best of it. you got to watch out those little guys, you know. <laughs> Kevin Johnson tries to get around. Scott loses the handle on the ball. Chambers on A.C. Green, very active defensively. Shot clock down to six. Johnson tries to lean in on Byron Scott, and Scott is whistled for the foul. That is his third. Fouls now starting to mount up with uh, Debots with four, Byron Scott with three, two very key players for the Lakers, especially Byron Scott against Kevin Johnson. Hornacek to Marley, inside to West. His turnaround goes down. Mark West loves to catch the ball on the block on that side and spin in the middle with his left hand. You've got to turn him out baseline on that side of the floor. You cannot let him come back to the middle with his left. This is the closest Phoenix has come to the Los Angeles Lakers since early in the first quarter. Now, this is where you've got to have someone other than Magic. You see, they're going to Magic again. Someone else has got to step forward. Where he sets the pick, Magic throws it up, doesn't get anything. Hornacek with the rebound. You feel Phoenix starting to play now, starting to be a little bit more confident. Defense is getting better. Now, like you said, emotion is gone. It comes down to execution, and Phoenix is executing better at this point. Will Pat Riley want a timeout? He's going to let him play. I still think Worthy, got to get Worthy involved, and Pat Riley's trying his best to get him a basket. Inside to Worthy as the shot tipped away by Chambers, and it is a three-on-one for Phoenix. Marley takes it by himself with the left-handed scoop shot, goes down. Well, Phoenix is the team that's come out in the third period defensively, challenging shots. Going to get a 20-second timeout here now for the Lakers, and remember I said to Cotton Fitzsimmons at halftime, I said, Cotton, it appears that you took the emotion, those shots, the surge that they were going to give you. You're within eight, and he felt very good about it if his team could come out here in the third period strong, and they've done that. Here's Worthy going up strong, a block shot. There's Chambers again. You see West with a hand, the Hornacek. Here's on the run, Marley behind the back, Magic Johnson. Let's Marley go past him and the score. And now you see Pat Riley there, a two-point ball game, and the crowd is starting to get edgy here now. All of a sudden, that excitement is now anxiety. Let's take a look at our Wendy's NBA scoreboard this evening. First up, New York, Detroit. Detroit wins the series with an 11-point win over the Knicks. And it is Portland once again pulling away from San Antonio. A 19-point advantage in the third quarter. Phoenix on an 8-0 run the last three minutes, and that has made it a two-point ball game. Inside, Divac uses his body effectively, gets his second field goal in the second half. He has 10 for the ball game. Well, that's a play they used to run for Kareem. This time it was for Divac. Great execution, good score. Right out of a 20-second timeout. Johnson works off a pick by Chambers. That leaves Chambers partially open. He takes baseline, won't go down. Scott battling west for the rebound, and we have another jump ball. Michael Thompson, Orlando Woolridge in for the Lakers. Vlade Divac, James Worthy sit down. Good substitution, Divac with four fouls. They don't want, do not want him to get his fifth. James Worthy struggling right now, pushing it a little bit offensively. Give him a little bit of a rest. Bring Worthy back when you rest Magic Johnson so you'll have an offensive player on the floor. See a nice move there by Vlade Divac. Eddie Johnson will check in for Phoenix on the next dead ball. And Byron Scott did a pretty good job on that jump ball. Alley, you pillow! a 20-second timeout, and the quiet crowd is now loud. Well, what he wants to do is he sees the Lakers get a 20-second timeout, two scores, a good defensive possession. Crowd is excited again. This play, this ball drops off out of the rafters. Michael Cooper, they used to run the Koopa loop here. <laughs> I guess as this is the hello o There's a great dunk by Orlando Woolwich, and the crowd is back in the ball game. Another angle. Let's go up top to our cameraman and slam cam and take a look. Good timeout, though, by Cotton Fitzsimmons, realizing the Lakers are a team of surges. Stop the surge. 
and a pass is stolen by Michael Cooper the second time he has done that in this game. Magic being hounded by Johnson from behind. Cooper for three doesn't get it. Mark West, good position because Orlando Woolridge was on his left side. He just blocked him out. Six-point Laker lead. 3.48 remain to be played in the third quarter. Eddie Johnson now in for Hornacek. He'll play that shooting guard role. Marley moves on Magic. Magic stays with him. Marley misses the shot. Tries to go back up again, and this time he gets it. Good Strong. battling underneath. Strong move by Marley. Marley, not an outside shooter. Drives it hard. Second and third effort gets a score. Six points for Marley, all coming here in the second half. Back down to a four-point advantage for the Lakers. Scott fakes the jumper. Gets back on the three-point line. Shoots. Doesn't get it. Rebound knocked around. Chambers comes down with it. Byron again settling for that outside shot. Kevin Johnson blocked off by Michael Cooper, but Cooper will be whistled for his third personal foul. Chambers four for 14. Eddie Johnson throws it up, doesn't get it. Rebound knocked out by Orlando Woolridge. Let's take a look at Marley's move underneath. You talk about strong. This is the definition. So this is the drive. He does not quit. He gets right back in the action. You see guys reaching, scratching, and Marley comes out of there with a strong play. Nice move. Dan Marley's in the game for his defense and for giving you those kind of hustle baskets. Oh, Mark West has 13 rebounds. Tom Chambers has eight right now for the Suns. And they lead in the rebounding category by six inside. Another strong move, this time with the left hand. Poor closeout that time by the Lakers on defense. They doubled up on Hornacek on the drive and on the on the kick out to Marley. Gave him a wide open lane to the basket. You must take away Dan Marley's driving lanes. Remaining in the third quarter, Ron Thulin along with Doug Collins. And for the Los Angeles Laker forwards, it has not been a good game. Worthy and Green have combined for 3 of 14 shooting for only 8 points. Well, I think Cotton, too, rolled dice here to start the third period. He wanted Marley on Magic Johnson, but Marley's giving him a, a surprise offense here also, too. So uh, Marley doing a good job, Cotton knowing his team. He'll now be able to come back with a rested Brambus when they put Worthy back in the ball game, maybe to give Chambers some rest. So now the chess match starts uh, with both coaches. How about James Worthy, 8 of 33 from the floor the last two ball games. Marley shot goes back off the iron. As soon as he put, tossed it up, he knew it was bad. He tried to come in and get it. Wasn't able to. Who will the Lakers go to out of the timeout now? A lot of times they like to run a back pick for Orlando Woolridge for a lob or maybe a little curl. A little give and go. Woolridge can't get the shot to go down, and it is so important coming out of a timeout to get a basket. I think the Lakers do it as well as any team in basketball. They get into a timeout, they draw up a play, they come out, and they execute it very well. There's the stat we were talking about. Worthy eight points. A.C. Green, he up to score. He's only 0 of 2 from the floor. A.C. was one of their most consistent players in Phoenix. He had a big ball game on Sunday with a deep thigh bruise where he limped most of the second half. That foul was out West. That is his third. That brings Kurt Rambis in. West sits down. See, Cotton can do this because Michael Thompson really not a big post-up center. So Chambers can either play Michael Thompson or Rambis. So they, they have enough size now with Michael Thompson really not being a threat in there to score. Five points now for Orlando Woolridge. And he is battling Chambers now underneath. Cooper follows Eddie Johnson around Chambers. Working on Woolridge. Pulls up off the back of the iron. Rambis battles Thompson and gets the rebound. Remember now, Pat Riley said a few years ago, no rebounds, no rings. Well, they better get on the boards. Right. right now, second and third shot for Phoenix. Offensive rebounds have been a problem. Hornacek pull up from the free throw line, and he rattles it home. Jeff Hornacek now, six here in the second half, 16 for the game. Suns controlling the boards right now, 33 to 26. Loose ball. Lakers can't come up with it. Marley does. Here come the Suns. They trail by just one. 145 remaining in the third quarter. Hornacek works off the pick. Gets around Scott. Takes it to the paint. Blocked by Orlando Woolridge. And we've got a whistle and a foul called. It will be against the Lakers. And Pat Riley is livid on the far side. What is happening with the Lakers? The penetrating dribble is forcing people to come over and help. That time Woolridge coming over to help on Hornacek gets a piece of the shot. No one blocks Rambus off the boards. 
You're going to see it right here now. Here's a penetrating drive. Hornacek gets around Scott. Here comes Woolrich, who's guarding Rambus. Now, no one blocks out Rambus. Michael Cooper's got to come over there and get in front of Kurt Rambus. If your other people are going to rotate over to block shots, your guards, your smaller people must come in and be rebounders. Well, Kurt Rambus came into this playoff series for 1990 as the leading field goal percentage player in NBA history during the playoffs. You think he wouldn't like to uh, eliminate the Lakers? Oh, ho. slightly. Slightly. He only has one point this evening, but we have tied up at 74, and that is our first tie of the ball game. Isolation Orlando Woolridge. <laughs> and Tom Chambers just shoved Orlando Woolridge, and quickly Kurt Rambis comes over, and the two peacemakers, Rambis and Cooper, get in on it. Now, Chambers did the smart thing that time. He has one technical foul early in the ball game. Rather than get involved in anything that could be misinterpreted and get a T, he walks away from it. This is a good foul here by Chambers. He's beaten on the play, and he takes a good, strong, hard foul. Woolwich takes exception to him and throws the ball back at him. But a smart play from Chambers to walk away from that. Magic Johnson, the left-handed hook, won't go down. Tipped up and in by Michael Thompson. That is three fouls, by the way, on Tom Chambers for Phoenix. Hornacek, given the lane, he takes it, throws up the left hand. Thompson with the rebound. Lakers by two inside of a minute. Cooper to Magic. He sees an opening. They're going to throw a basket. foul on Michael Thompson, holding out Kurt Rambus. He wiped him out to let Magic Johnson in there. That's a good call by Joey Crawford. See, it was off the ball. You don't see it, but Magic's going to be on the drive. And right here, you're going to see Michael Thompson push Rambus out. We saw the tail end of the play, but a good call. That is four on Michael Thompson as Hornacek and Chambers have sat down. Checking into the lineup for the first time this evening, Tim Perry wearing number 34, the second-year player out of Temple, the first-round draft choice back in 88 for Phoenix. Also, Kevin Johnson back in the lineup. He's double teamed. Kicks it back out to Johnson. To Marley. Shot clock at six. Baseline. Marley goes up and he gets it. Marley is playing a big, big third quarter. Again, he's not going to shoot the outside shot, Ron. He's going to take it to the hoop. You got to square him up and keep, you, keep him in front of you. And Marley's taking it to the basket at will. You're going to see him where he beats Magic on the drive. Woolrich is going to worry about the shot block. And Marley slices in between the two players. And now he has a great chance for a three-point play. And the first Suns lead, and they get it. The first time Phoenix has led this evening. Marley now here in the third quarter, 11 points. And that is his playoff average. Magic. He's going to be fouled. And Eddie Johnson thought he had a clean swipe at the ball. That is Eddie Johnson's third personal foul. Ron, one thing we haven't talked about here is Pat Riley's substitution. Now, you know to start the fourth period, he's going to come in with Worthy. Worthy's had a chance to rest. Question is, Magic has played this whole time. When will he be able to rest Magic? Right. Magic has been the lone guy offensively to carry this ball club. Now, I don't know whether he's going to be able to play the whole second half. He did the other day in Phoenix and finish the game up. But will he be able to finish the game without a rest? We'll have to wait and see. Tom Chambers, good look at him, comes back into the lineup, a quick 30-second rest for Tom Chambers, 25.8 remaining here in the third quarter. Magic Johnson, 33 points, 12 of 21 from the field. Now he had 28 of those at half, so six points here in this period, so the Suns have done a better job on him. Lakers lead it again by one. Phoenix just got their first lead in ball game. Now in penetration, watch Chambers and Marley stepping in. If, they, if the big guys step up to help, he'll dish it to them. If not, he'll pitch to either Hornacek or Eddie Johnson for an open shot. There it is, the dish. Chambers the lamp misses. Doesn't get it. We've got a whistle. Loose ball foul on Tom Chambers. And that'll be number four on Chambers. Take a look at it again and see if you can make the call. Here's the penetration now. You're going to see the help. Step up, big guy, which is going to free Chambers. Rotation magic. He gets a hand up. He does not be able to make the shot. And there's the over-the-back foul. That's a tough play there for the last five seconds for Phoenix to commit. It could be a four-point swing on that possession. 
especially since they were up by one, and now they may find themselves going into the final 12 minutes, trailing by three. And that is what it is right now. Magic Johnson, four of four from the line here in the second half. The time remaining, Kevin Johnson to Eddie Johnson. A three at the buzzer, and he almost gets it. Only 12 minutes remain from the Los Angeles Lakers, either advancing or being eliminated. They will have it coming up. They lead by three. It is a beautiful night in Los Angeles, but if you're a Laker fan, it's getting a little tense in the form. It is nervous time, and it is showtime. Scoring by quarters, it has been a gradual decline for the Lakers. Which has been what has happened in this series, Ron. 35 means the Lakers are out and running. Magic pushing the ball. A little bit more of a half-court game in the second. The third quarter, totally a half-court game. What we see now in the fourth period. Well, this is it. 12 minutes can remain in the Lakers season or they can continue Thursday night. Marley looks off Michael Cooper and takes it in. And what a half Dan Marley is playing as they are within one now. Kevin Johnson read that play beautifully. It was going to Worthy. He played right into the passing lane and was able to pick it off. Byron Scott from outside and he's coming back alive. That is his first field goal since the second quarter. Johnson blows right by him, takes it inside, no foul call, but the ball will be long to Phoenix because Byron Scott carried it out. <laughs> Kevin There's Johnson, no blood, no foul on that Kevin one. Kevin Johnson took a beating on that play. Oh, you see Cotton Fitzsimmons saying, the heck with that, but I mean, he, he got ripped. Yeah. They tried to take his head off. Marley to Johnson, Eddie Johnson's pull-up jumper won't go, Worthy with a rebound. We hate to keep talking about it, but James Worthy has got to do something if the Lakers want to continue this series outside. Good call, Ron, and a nice look there by Michael Cooper. That's really the first wide-open shot that Worthy's had without Chambers having a hand in his face. Talk about the Lakers shooting woes. For the first time in 12 years this year, they shot under 50% as a team as Kevin Johnson. Buries the jumper, turns to the Laker bench, and says, gotcha. Three-point Laker lead. Way out front. Worthy stops, pops, still can't get it going. Kevin Johnson, pull up jumper over Scott. He can't get it to go. Cooper was held by Eddie Johnson. Young legs, Dan Marley picking up that loose ball. Talk about the legs. Magic Johnson has played this entire second half as Eddie Johnson takes it to the hole with the right hand. Can he do it? Nice execution there by Eddie Johnson. Cooper trailing. He curled it, took it right into the lane. Lakers do not have a shot blocker on the floor right now. Woolrich all the way to the hole off the glass. Well, the Laker players told us today that this team knows how to win tough games. They may know it, but can they do it? It's Kevin Johnson with a playground move, yes. Help me, Kevin. Man, oh man, what a tough shot. Might as well pull all, out, all stops out. You can rest in June. Cooper's drive to the hole won't go down. Inside of 935, Lakers by just a point. Kevin Johnson's starting to feel it, too. You see him now shaking it out there a little bit. Marley's trying to isolate now against Magic Johnson. Look at Kevin. He feels like he can beat Byron off the dribble anytime he wants to. He's done it a lot tonight. Eddie Johnson around Cooper. Puts the ball on the right side. No traveling call. Ball tipped around. Rambus comes up with it. Johnson to Rambus. Shot clock. 15. Not a problem. Got Fitzsimmons up off the bench. Pat Riley up off the bench. Shot clock inside of 10. To Eddie Johnson. Fall away. Doesn't go down. Rambis with another offensive rebound, but he can't get the foul to go. Big series for L.A. Well, if I'm Pat Riley, I'm worried. That last series, Phoenix got about four shots at the basket. Magic. One-on-one -on -one with Marley. Uses the right shoulder to Woolridge. The finger touch doesn't get it. Two layups in a row. They I thought Orlando might dunk that basketball. He tried to finger roll it. Might have cost him an easy two. If you're up that high and that close, slam it. Pound it home. Johnson. Scott trying to stay with him. Well, it's a great matchup right here. Byron Scott meeting the challenge on Kevin Johnson. This is the play that Kevin Johnson sent this crowd to their seats with. <laughs> Look at this shot right here. Kevin Johnson. 
My goodness. Great players have a sense of where they are on the floor. They just can get in the most uncompromising situations and still be able to deliver. Now, San Antonio trying to battle back again. They've been down 18-19. And Marley buries the three. He has done it all. That ties his playoff high for this series at 16 points, and it is Phoenix by two, their biggest advantage. Magic. West looking for the double team. Tries to help out Marley. Magic tries to go do it by himself, and he does. Well, somebody's going to have to make a defensive stand here in about the next five minutes. Someone, whoever's going to win this ball game, will make a tough defensive five-minute stand and take control. Defense wins championships inside. Eddie Johnson has the ball stripped, tipped around by everybody but the officials, and Hornacek comes down with it. Shot clock did not rewind. He's going to have to get it up. And he bounces off everybody down two, down to one. They're not going to get it. It belongs to the Lakers with 7.26 remaining in the ball game. 7.26. Can the Lakers keep their playoff hopes alive? Can they become the first team to win a championship in the 90s? 7.18 separates them from going home or continuing. To Worthy, to Divac, travel. Oh, my goodness. Well, James Worthy is having a nightmare of a basketball game. He's, he's, I'm sure he wanted to come home after game four. After five for 21 and, and get it going, but Rambus and Chambers have done a job on him tonight. He just cannot get in any kind of rhythm. Now it is Hornacek working on Cooper. Shot Rambus clock. moving screen. That'll be a foul on Kurt Rambus. You can see that one coming, Ron. We are tied at 88. Seven minutes remain in the season. For the Lakers, if they cannot get the lead back, and we will have the final seven minutes when we come back. Stay with us. 6-1, and he does take a lot of punishment. Tom Chambers returning to the Phoenix lineup now, so it's Mark West with Chambers, Kurt Rambis, Kevin Johnson, and Dan Marley. The Lakers with Vlade Divac, Orlando Woolridge, James Worthy, Michael Cooper, and Magic Johnson. This one tied at 88. Out of backcourt comes Magic Johnson. Down the left side against the Phoenix of Dan Marlin. In front it comes down to Worthy. Worthy top of the key. Driving inside. His leaner to the hoop. Won't go. The rebound knocked around. And Rambus hustles and grabs it at the baseline for Phoenix. Up to KJ. Game tied. KJ left of the lane. Here's a 16-footer. In and out. Wouldn't go. Rebound Marley. He's there. Follows. Doesn't get it. Up again this time. Worthy grabs it off for the Lakers. Out it comes to Cooper. The Magic Johnson back to Cooper. Cooper from 18. The jumper won't fall. And Mark West rebounds. It'll be a loose ball foul on Vlade Divac. Divac is going to be called for the foul. It'll be the first team foul on the Lakers here in the fourth quarter. Coming with six minutes and 27 seconds to go in this one. Tied 88-88. The Suns victory, and it's all over for the Lakers. The Lakers win, and it's back to Phoenix for Thursday night's game six. Here's Rambus on the left side, hands the ball back to KJ, knocked away out of bounds. Suns will still have possession here with 13 seconds on the shot Suns clock. Suns want to execute now. This is gut check time. This is when it really counts, and everybody's tired, but you have to forget about that. Play through it. Rambus gets it into Kevin Johnson. Michael Cooper will play him defensively for the Lakers. KJ Thompson he goes to the right side, puts up an 18-footer, and buries it. KJ showed that he's not tired on that jump shot. He has 29 points, 90 to 88 the Sun. Slowly, the pressure is starting to move back on the L.A. Lakers. Magic Johnson calls out a set play. Edges behind Vlade Divac the screen. Gives the ball to Worthy. Worthy takes it in. Worthy can't get it. It's spun around and out. And the rebound down to the Suns, Kurt Rambus. Now Rambus waits and... Gives it back to Kevin Johnson. Makes his way out of backcourt to Mark West. West inside. Spin to the hoop. Shot won't go with the left hand. Rebound Magic out to Worthy. Worthy all the way in. Finger roll. Got it. Well, you don't want Mark West in that situation where he has to make a move to go to the basket. Suns 90, Lakers 90. Five minutes, 24 seconds remaining in this ball game in the fourth quarter. Kevin Johnson up out of backcourt. He'll go to the left side on the dribble. KJ in the corner for Marley. Marley out to Chambers. Chambers from 20, but he's way short. Air ball again for Tom. Rebound underneath Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson spins inside. Crashed into Rambus. Offensive foul? Yeah, certainly is. Jack Nees makes that call. Made a little question about that. Game tied at 90. Well, that 
with Magic just trying to barrel it right down the middle. And Kurt Rambis was set up in there strong. Now the Suns come back with five minutes left in regulation. Game tied at 90 apiece. Kevin Johnson is way out front. The Suns open things up offensively for KJ. Fakes Cooper, drives to the right, comes back the other way. Now spins again in deep, hooks it up, won't go. Bad on Devon. Bad shot. Out it comes down to Magic Johnson, right down the middle again, drives to the hoop and scores. Count it, and he's fouled. The Suns have got to get better shots than that. Lakers lead by two. Magic Johnson will go to the free throw line. So Magic taking the ball to the hoop. Again, no, nobody picked him up until he was almost to the basket, Al, within 10 feet of the basket. That is on Marley. Magic gets the free throw. The Lakers lead by three. Marley has four personal fouls. Inbound to Rambles. Off to Kevin Johnson now. KJ over the time stripe will bring it down the right side for the sun. KJ waiting into Chambers. Chambers puts it on the floor. Chambers back out to Marley. Marley's 18 footer around and off. Long rebound. Chambers saves it. Back to Marley. To KJ. Three point Laker lead. Kevin Johnson starts down the right side. KJ out of three point range now. Chambers trying to get open. Will Ridge on it. Now inside is Marley. Marley against Worthy. Into the lane. Better get out of there. And does it. Three second lane by Lake. Now three or the last three or four times down the court, they've turned the ball over or had four shot selection. Lakers lead by three. Four minutes and six seconds left in this fourth quarter. Magic Johnson will bring the ball up out of backcourt. Magic to the right side. He'll shoot a 22 footer and get it. What can you say? Timeout, Suns. That's what you can say. Three minutes and 55 seconds left to go. Magic Johnson with another 43 point performance. Lakers by five. Back after this full timeout. Career playoff high, and that has given the Lakers a five point lead. Now let's take a look at our minute made minute. Doug? Well, you see the Lakers shooting better, rebounds. The Suns plus nine is from the Lakers' Achilles heel in the playoffs. Magic big, KJ big, and again, it's going to come down to defense. Normally, the defensive team will be spurred on by the home crowd. If that's the case, the Laker fans here are very excited. They want to put this game back in Phoenix. Phoenix, I think, has played an exceptionally smart basketball game tonight. They withstood the early surge. They're right here with a chance to win this basketball game. Well, Arsenio Hall down the far end of the court leading the cheers. He is up on the court. He's got his hand going nuts. How about Magic Johnson? 15 of 24. Last two games, he's averaging 43 points. For Phoenix, Tom Chambers only 4 of 18. He's missed six layups. Kevin Johnson has kept the Suns in the ball game, as has Dan Marley. There he is again, and he kisses the glass softly. Well, Michael Cooper is draped all over him. I wonder if Kevin Johnson called bank on that one or if that was uh, a... <laughs> Doesn't that was, count. That was an accident, but whatever, it went in. 31 points for Kevin Johnson. Magic to Worthy. Left open. Doesn't get it again, and Devon takes a forearm shiver from Mark West, who That's throws the ball out of him, and he gets a tee. See, Mark West lost his cool right there. Not only did he get the foul, but he throws the ball down on top of Devon, which is a technical, and Cotton Fitzsimmons is letting him know you cannot make those kind of plays. It's a three-point ball game, Mark. Look at it. You can see Cotton. He's unhappy right now. That is not smart in a close ball game, but Magic Johnson cannot convert. He misses the first free throw here in the second half. Well, they dodged the bullet that time, but here you're going to see it on the slam cam. Let's watch Mark West. There's the shot to the face, and then his body goes down. He throws the ball on top of him to add insult to injury and to get a technical foul. Lakers do have the ball. 14 fouls now for Phoenix. Three team fouls for L.A. We have a whistle and another foul, so chalk up another one for the Suns with 3.22 remaining to be played. Lakers going with a small lineup on the floor. Three guards right now to counter Eddie Johnson, Hornacek, and Kevin Johnson. So you got Scott Cooper and Magic Johnson with D-Bots and Worthy. A lot of time on the shot clock. Cooper working on Eddie Johnson. To Scott. Magic looks for Devots, cuts through the paint. He has a double team, knocked out. Ball belongs to the Lakers. Nine on the shot clock. Byron Scott's got a yell there to, to let Magic know that Kevin's coming. That time Kevin left him blindsided Magic. He's very fortunate to get out of there. 
Cooper. Inside to Worthy. He loses the handle on the ball, and I tell you what, that man is snake bit. Even three minutes. Johnson to Hornacek. A big basket if he gets it, and he does. Kevin Johnson, when he gets in the lane, the whole defense compresses. Now you get shooters, you pitch it to them. Hornacek again with a big ball game. 18 points for the former Iowa State star on top. Scott looking down low to Devox, working on West. Back to Scott for a three. He doesn't get it, and James Worthy with a big rebound. And he's fouled on the play. Talk about being wide open when KJ takes it to the hole. Let's look. Well, here's what's going to happen. You see Hornacek's being played by Magic. He steps in. Now Hornacek wide open. Cooper cannot get there. That's penetrating drive and pitch. Kevin Johnson does it as well as anybody in basketball. Now worthy at the line to shoot two. And from here on in, it's the penalty for the Lakers. The Suns, excuse me, the Lakers only have one foul. So they can be very aggressive in the next 34 seconds uh, in committing fouls. There's James Worthy's number. Three field goals in the second half. He has three, three of three from the line. Make it four of four from the line. And the Lakers lead by three. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining to be played at the Forum. Will it go to Thursday and game six? The crowd chanting defense. That will be the key. Oh, Johnson, what a move! And oh, he's got oh, my oh. goodness. What a crossover. Kevin Johnson. I tell you, there's a playground move for that. Whoa. Making somebody out of something. Figure it out yourself, but he did just that. Man, oh man, what a great move. Scott looks for the three. They're giving it to him. He doesn't take it. He's been flat on this last shot. He needs to get some arch on it. Magic with Hornacek on him and talk about a flat shot. Magic runs it down, a new 24. Look really out of sorts offensively, and it's an offensive foul on Vlade Divac. That'll also be six for him, if I'm not mistaken. I think it may be five. Oh, it? Take a look. It is five on Divac. Take a look at Kevin Johnson. Look at this crossover. My word. Locks Byron Scott's ankles in a left-handed floating shot off the glass. Kevin, that's too good. One-point Laker lead, 152 remaining to be played. How about the old adage as we take a look at the Portland San Antonio score? Trailblazers up by three. We'll be going to that game at the conclusion of our game. How about the old adage, first one to 100 wins? Did you buy it tonight? Oh, I, mean, I don't know. But, uh, I do know right now, Ron, that uh, if I'm the Lakers, if Kevin Johnson has me beat on the dribble, I take a quick foul. They've got one to waste. I do not let him get in the lane against me. I'm sure Pat Riley let his team know that. Make somebody else shoot the shot outside. Hornacek and, Wet, and uh, excuse me, Eddie Johnson, two good shooters and Chambers. So really the only guy not a threat to shoot it from outside is West, and he's the offensive rebounder. Now Magic trying to catch up with Hornacek, who gets away. Divac blocks it, and that'll be six on Vlade Divac, and he will have to sit down after scoring ten points. Four here in the second half. Boy, you do not want to foul a jump shooter. That is a coach's nightmare. You know, you get a guy and you go up to try to block his shot. This is a rookie, rookie foul here by Vladi. He tries to challenge the shot and he hits Hornacek right on the elbow. Good call and the shot almost went in. Now you're in the penalty. So for the rest of the game, both teams shooting two shot fouls. And Hornacek in this series is 26 of 27 from the line. And another one. This guy right here has been, if, they, if, if Phoenix wins this series, you can point to the play of Jeff Hornacek. He's, he's played a tremendous series. Remember now, this guy's recovering from arthroscopic surgery on his knee, did not finish the season strong, and he has been a ton in the playoffs. There's the time, there's the score. Magic, spin move, dishes off, you pass up shots, cause turnovers. And the Phoenix bench is up waving towels. See the smile on Kevin Johnson's face. Oh, yeah. They really believe they're going to win this basketball game. Jeff Hornacek told me today, he says, I think we're going to win it tonight. It will not go back to Phoenix. He fakes the shot. Five on the shot clock. Mark West gives him a three-point advantage, and Pat Riley wants a timeout. That is their biggest lead of the game, 109, and the Lakers could be done. 
The Lakers have reached the NBA Finals eight times in the last ten years. The string is in jeopardy tonight. They trail by three. Well, Hornacek's been the man here. He fakes the shot. What's going to happen now? Magic helps out. Nobody to help on Mark West rolling. So who are the two unsung heroes, the guys we talked about before? Hornacek and Mark West. Could this be the play? that puts the Lakers out of the playoffs. Still a lot of time, a minute nine remaining. Cockpit Simmons now coming in with his defensive team. Rambus, Marley in the ballgame. Hornacek, KJ, and Mark West. As we look at the banners, Pat Riley looks at the clock in his team. 109 remaining. They trail it by three. This is the biggest Phoenix lead in the ball game. At one point early in the first half, the Lakers led by 15. Worthy still can't get it to go. West with the big rebound. 15 rebounds for Mark West this evening. And now the biggest enemy for the Lakers is the clock. If you're Kevin Johnson, you want to make sure your team gets a shot. Don't turn the ball over, but get you a shot. Goes to the right, is fouled on the play. Goes down hard, and he goes, yes, I'll take it. I'll take it. The first round, the bench of L.A. Kevin Johnson, 6 of 7 from the line. 34 points. That is his playoff high this year. 35 points. A 7-0 run by Phoenix has given them a 5-point advantage. 44.6 remaining. Not in L.A. Phoenix, two timeouts. Lakers, one full timeout. 44.6 remaining. It is crunch time. All right, now who do you have in the ball game? If you're Pat Riley, you got Michael Cooper, you got Magic, you got Scott. Three-point shooters. Worthy can make a three. Really the only non-three-point shooter is Woolridge. You might go to world with Woolridge and let him drive it to the basket quickly against Mark West. Can experience win out inside the Worthy, working on Rambis to Cooper to Scott for the three. Yes, he's got it. All right, now they, they did a nice job in the execution. There's still two possessions left in the ball game, and they did it inside out. That was not set up to get a three. Worthy attack. He kicked out exactly what we talked about. Get something going and pitch it out. Scott for the big three. Byron Scott, five second half points. Three came there. That is the biggest. Let's take a look exactly what you talked about, Doug. Get it in, get it out, see if you can hit it. Well, what happens here, you're going to see the ball's going to go into Worthy. When he starts to go to the basket, you see Kevin Johnson go down to double team. That leaves Hornacek to try to cover two players. Kevin Johnson can get out there. That's the biggest shot Byron Scott's hit in a long time. Well, the Lakers set a three-point record in field goals made and attempted this year, and their three-point percentage on the season was 24%, or 24% for the playoffs. And there is the timeout situation. One apiece. And now it is a little tense on the Phoenix bench. The key now is just trying to get it out, I guess. Get it in. Let's 
watch Cotton Fitzsimmons here. He knows if this shot doesn't go, they're advanced. And Byron Scott is going to make it tough on you, Cotton. you got to coach a little bit here these last 37 seconds. Now, here's your big, here's your big concern if, if you're the Los Angeles Lakers. How can you be able to keep Kevin Johnson from penetrating and not foul him? As we see, Phoenix has not lost three straight games all this season. We know the Lakers have to do that to right. eliminate them. But your, your biggest concern is can you keep Kevin Johnson in front of you without fouling? Because if you foul him, he's going to go to the line and shoot two. Before that shot by Scott, he was only 4 of 11 from the floor. Now, Kevin Johnson has been just about doing it will what he wants with the ball. He has gone right, he has gone left on Byron Scott. You have to wonder if they can stop him. Now, remember what happened in, in Utah. Cotton went with a small lineup with this right. group. Remember, he came in with, like, Mike McGee. He had uh, all small players. He's, he's going to stay with Mark West in the game. Now, one thing, he's going to bring Eddie Johnson. Remember, Mark West, not a good free, not a good free throw shooter. So if he catches the ball around the basket, you foul him. How about if he catches it anywhere? Absolutely. 37.9 seconds remaining. The crowd is standing. They're going to go length of the floor. They're, they're going to go length of the floor rather than taking it half court. By Mark West, there he is. got rid of it quickly. There is Hornacek, brings it over quickly. Only took him three seconds to do it. Byron Scott does not want Kevin Johnson to get the basketball. He's going to try to keep him from getting it, but he's just too quick. He just got around him. He was trying to put a bear hug. Now Johnson slaps away at Byron's left hand, goes around him again. Hornacek, pull-up jumper, in and out. No good. The Lakers have it. 15 seconds remaining. Pat says take it down to Magic. Spin move. Puts it up off the glass. No. Rebound. Johnson had it. Hornacek's got it. And the foul on Magic Johnson. Oh, my goodness. Magic took a tough shot there. A left-handed shot off the glass. Pat Riley chose not to take time out. He had the team in transition. He wanted to push it. He got the ball to the right man, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson took a tough shot. A left-hander off the glass did not go. You're going to see here Hornacek's shot rattles in and out. And Cooper throwing it ahead to Magic. He's pushing it. Magic is going to spin. And the left-handed shot does not go. Jeff Hornacek, perfect. Why don't you take the timeout? Well, you got it. You got. If you want to, you've got the defense scattered. Take it and push it. If you take the timeout, you get the defense a chance to set. You get the defensive players back in the game. And it is a four-point advantage, 6.5. And Eddie Johnson's smile just about tells it all. Well, now the Lakers got to go for three. They've, been, they've used their last time out. Phoenix knows that if they hit a three-point shot, the last thing you want to do is make a quick inbounds pass. You have to be really smart. I'm sure Cotton has told his team if they score, get yourself scattered. I mean, get yourself under control. Spread the floor. If we can't get it in, call a timeout. We'll move it to half court. Under no circumstances do you throw the ball in quickly under pressure. A bittersweet day for Pat Riley, the NBA Digital Coach of the Year. And then he may be eliminated from the playoffs. Inside to Byron Scott. Pulls up with the three. A running three. And he finds it out. 2.9 remaining as Byron Scott hits two three-pointers. With 2.9 remaining to be played. And it is a one-point ball game. We will keep you posted on that ball game. Byron Scott hit a three-point play, but was it a three-point play? Let's take a look. Byron's going to take it on the drive. Now, remember, if you can start out behind, it's okay. Well, that's close. That's real close. That's close. I, I think that was a three. I think he was behind the line. Fortunately, Kevin Johnson didn't foul him there, but good call there by the official. Now, Lakers are out of timeout, so as soon as the ball is thrown in here, you got to foul immediately. We want to show you both games since it's coming down. Clyde Drexler at the line. The number's on him for Portland. They lead it, and they still have a two-point lead, and we've got two nine left as Kevin Johnson is fouled by Byron Scott. Now, it is a... Drexler missed the first. Will he get the second? This time he does. It is a three-point ball game. Portland on top of San Antonio. There we see the time remaining. San Antonio needs the three. As Kevin Johnson, the left-hand portion, goes for two. And he got it! Oh, my goodness. San Antonio has tied the game up with Portland. And Kevin Johnson, meanwhile, will try to ice it for Phoenix. <laughs> oh, i got to get one of these at my house. You might revolutionize broadcasting <laughs> here tonight. I want to 
ask our vice president if I get paid double for this. But Kevin Johnson, a very important free throw. He has only missed one, eight of nine. As the replay of San Antonio down below. That was David Wingate with a three. And Kevin Johnson back here just about puts it out of reach. It's a three-point ball game. Ball tipped out of bounds, 2.1. The Lakers need a three. Some stupid, there is a, there is a, uh, some cup stupid on the fan threw something out on the floor. 106, 103, 2.1. Now, if you're caught, do you foul as soon as the ball is thrown in so they can't get a three-point shot up at the basket? They're going to put Larry Drew in the Lakers' arm, Pat Riley. Let's see who they bring in. They're going to take out Orlando Woolridge. They need a shooter. They don't need a rebound. This is situations that you practice because you have no timeout. You've got a veteran team, so you know what you have to do. Go Phoenix foul before the shot is attempted so that they can't get a three-pointer up. Now, Wingate did it for San Antonio. Can somebody do it for Los Angeles? It would be a Hollywood ending. 2.1 remaining. Scott has hit two in a row. If you're Phoenix, you defend the three-point line and force them to go back the other way. Force them inside, too. In case you're wondering why we're taking so long, they're cleaning the court on the far end. There is ice and water from the cup that was thrown. Now Joey Crawford says, gentlemen, just get off the court. Let's get this thing over with. You watch the final two seconds, we'll watch it with you. Everybody on their feet at the floor. Will the Lakers continue? And they throw it out of bounds. My goodness. Oh, and Pat Riley, the frustration. Still 2.1 to Kevin Johnson. Fittingly, he has the ball to hold. It is all over. The Lakers have been eliminated from the Western Conference semifinals. They lose to the Phoenix Suns. 106 -10. And it's going to be Portland's ball to start it out. Well, Portland is a team that likes to run a lot of motion, try to get Drexler in a one-on-one -on -one from the wing situation, or even post him up versus Hornacek. Buck Williams guarded by Randis. And Buck Williams quickly Buck puts the Trailblazers in front. With either Chambers or West early in the game. And then when things break down, they like to go to a lot of pick and roll basketball. Off the screen is Hornacek. Inside to West. Tied up. They keep him right close to that. Kevin Johnson on Porter. Porter on Johnson. One of the big matchups. Percy. Everyone's perfect thus far. Try to force a pass. So both teams have been tentative when they've gotten inside tonight. Kevin Johnson. Can't stop that. And Hornacek the rebound. It's amazing how Phoenix, when they're on the road, takes perimeter shots. They work it inside at home like that. And it's the other way around for Portland. They got the perimeter shot, especially early in this game. It's amazing how it's easier to do this at home than on the road, though. Yes, sir. Here's Duckworth over West. Kevin Duckworth. The Portland Fields of Porter. Outside to Kersey. And Rick Adelman was saying that Kersey was as easily as been the most consistent player game in and game out in the playoffs for Portland. So now here come the Suns who have turned the ball over four times and they have taken shots. Hornacek. Excellent hit. In the first quarter of game number six, Nick Stockton and Hubie Brown, along with Tim Brand and James Brown tonight. Oh. Players that Chambers at one end, Drexler at the other, in foul zone. Those are the two players that Tim and JB talked about at the top of our telecast. Here's Kevin Duckworth. Rebound inside by Percy and a good move, but Duckworth loves to hit from outside, doesn't he? Yes, he could not hit the shot. He had a good one. Phoenix with West on the break, takes the lead. Their first lead of the game. And Phoenix will have to play you honestly. They can pack their people in on the opposite side of the floor to help out in the rebound. Eddie Johnson guarding Percy, and Percy hits the jumper outside. He's got eight points and is the game high scorer. Well, you can live with that early, Dick, but we know over the 48 minutes it will eventually break down. Kevin Johnson penetrating. KJ gives the Suns a four-point lead. 
Oh, he just got a technical, technical foul. Yes, indeed, son. <laughs> See, he's getting a shot without any double teaming kick, but he's missing. I would kind of go away from him a while and let him get his feet. Kevin Johnson falling away. Very tough shot. Porter settles for the perimeter shot, the and there he is, averaging water. 21, the best shooter on the team. The, everyone. the difference, at one end we're seeing a lot of jump shots, at the other we're seeing penetration inside the painted area, and that has been to the advantage of Phoenix. There he is again, a pick and roll, Mark, wow. Mark West. He's still struggling, but he's still firing. Hornacek, quick release. With under four minutes to go in the first quarter. Zero yeah. fouls. And there's a 20-point scorer who has been of no help to the Suns thus far. There you go. This is the most movement that they've had since we started this game. Porter penetrates nicely. And Terry Porter. Terry Porter now with five. And all five starters have scored for the Blazers. Clock running down to five seconds. Hornacek with a runner. He's had a terrific first quarter with nine points. But the Trailblazers trail by five. And considering that they got robbed twice here, that's not a bad score right now for them. Kevin Johnson, wild from the corner. Uh, and yeah. releasing early is Drexler. And this was a three-point game. Uh, Drexler. Well, one of the weapons, that, here it is. The people were released. Now you're gambling that you're going to get the rebound, but you can hit him in the open floor. Eddie Johnson. Breaks through, maybe that'll be a confidence. Williams, Cooper, and it's Wayne Cooper who tips Wayne it in. Cooper. Feet inside and Cliff Robinson found Porter, and it's a 34-31 game. Phoenix plays for the last shot. Marley, long range, off the mark. Rambis has time for a three. And that'll do it. Kevin Johnson had a great first period with 13 points and five assists, but Portland can't complain. And that's the end of the first period with the score. Suns 34, Blazers 31. Struggling here, and especially on the foul line, he's only one for eight. But uh, they go to him. They, they think that he'll always knock down the next one. Good inside move by Cliff Robinson. Robinson actually pumped with the shoot. Marley. Here's Marley open this time. Somebody had to be open on the double Marley. Well, Portland does a good job at training. He's hesitant when he has the ball outside. Posting up right now, now setting a pick. Hornacek. He's inside for Tim Perry. Perry. So far, Perry has done a nice job shooting nearly 60% despite Tom Chambers' woes. Nearly three minutes gone by, second quarter. Here's Hornacek. He knows the rims here at the Coliseum. Yeah, they see you. Yeah, he shoots 54 percent, and that's hard to do for a guard in this place. Petrovic, the smooth shooter, comes back. And Terry Porter comes back in. Well, you saw his head was down. You know, he he, uh, he he doesn't relish coming out right now. He feels he's making a contribution. Marley, basket will go, and a foul, and a chance for a three-point play. Is the rebound. Drexler is one for five. Duckworth one for seven. Basket by Tim Perry and a foul. The X Factor could be the kid from Temple, Tim Perry, and Jerome Kersey has picked up his third personal foul. Being a referee who might not have actually seen a good look at it, a chance to call it the other way. Porter waits for the fake and hits Very the jumper. Porter. So Porter now. Marley, Phoenix looking to run it up. Now Duckworth's trying to set a pick for Porter. He does. Here's the pick and roll outside. Duckworth finally hits. He's been struggling from the field. But you see, yeah, that was there. Lead is 10 for the Suns. Porter in three-point territory. He hits it. Porter has struggled on the road. There are major numbers. That's 50%. Good from anywhere. Chambers. But there's Marley. Great second effort by Marley. Marley's one of these guys. He's away. 
Yeah, I think you see the one consistent also today is the lousy foul shooting by Portland. <laughs> All right. And, well. and they're only shooting 60-some-odd percent in this series. Marley gets through again. 11 points, all in the second quarter for Marley. Hornacek doing a terrific defensive job in the quarter, even though he hit that three. Second, he scored 13 thus far. Four and a half to play in the first half. There it Make is. Make roll, Duckworth. From they had a lead as high as 12 in this quarter. Kevin Johnson tries to get it to West. But there was that big body Duckworth again. Porter behind the Duckworth. And he lays it in. And now it's a three-point game. See, I like what Portland did that time. They trapped with the big man using Duckworth and Porter. Trapped Kevin Johnson. Did not allow. Oh, watch out. Kevin Johnson penetrates. Goes into Duckworth. The basket counts in the foul. As Duckworth is holding the side of his head. Well, you know, when you think of small men in this league, you think of Isaiah Thomas and Kevin Johnson, and both of them are fearless off the dribble into that painted area. Duckworth, uh, or Johnson, already has nine free throw attempts as Drexler tied and scores. 56-52 Sun. Marley, deflected, I believe, by Cliff Robinson. Got the long arms. Six foot ten, he's got the long arms and shot block. Porter with another three attempt, and he has three three-point basket. And the Portland Trailblazers are down by one. They have hit their last seven shots, putting a big scare into the Suns in the last three minutes here. And Kevin Johnson's I can't go, and a timeout call. He's going to the dressing room. We'll have a, refer a report on that. You talk about a major loss. This is the guy who breaks you down, breaks your defense down, and then he has the presence of not only completing the pass, but then he also is very capable of scoring 25 to 30 points under pressure. Well, he's after trailing by 12 here in the second quarter. 2.35 to go, Clyde Drexler hits the Clyde jumper, Drexler. and Portland has regained the lead by one. He's going strong to the basket, and that's a major factor. Hornacek trying to do what Kevin Johnson does. Hey, the Suns are doing it defensively after they lost their point guard. Marley. Marley again. Oh, Three times Portland's had the ball. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Duckworth breaks a 7 to nothing run by the Suns. See, that's there. The open jump shot is there off the pick and roll. But if he would just roll to the front of the rim, he could get a guaranteed layup. Playing for the last shot of the first half. Perry. And Drexler fires it. And that'll do it. So without Kevin Johnson, who's hurt in the question mark, and Tom Chambers, who has been ineffective and has not scored, Phoenix still leads by four. And Terry Porter with a great second quarter effort. That's the end of the first half with the score. The Sun 63 and the Blazers 59. And a turnover. Here comes Porter. Portland would rather control the tempo and set it up. Phoenix would rather run. You see, look right inside. Court Percy's got Hornacek. He's calling for the ball on the other side of the floor. Buck Williams from outside hits. Mike He's Williams. off to a good start in the second half. And Buck knew all along. And then knocked it. it back to Hornacek. It's a three-on-one opportunity now for Phoenix. And Tom Chambers still can't buy a hoop. Marley follows up. The what a game. Off the bench. He's got 18 points. Marley takes it away from him with another three-on-two. Bounce right. pass to Chambers. He's off the board, finally. Drexler and Porter, the starting guards, have three fouls, and so does Kersey. Hornacek knocked away. Chambers. That's two quick ones for Tom. Here at Portland right now, you Drexler different looks. He's not trying to play the same way two times in a row. Rampus is on Buck Williams. Duckworth with his one hand. Duckworth. Duckworth and now with 12 points. Got all get to the NBA Finals. Blocked by Duckworth. The rebound by Buck Williams. Yes. Taken away by Hornacek. By Marley. Phoenix totally out hustling Portland at this point.
point. Well, you, two guys turn the ball over in the backcourt, and then, then nobody plays the cutter down the middle. Duckworth. And then baseline, Duckworth. and he had Marley in his Drexler, and Marley settles for the jump shot. Buck Williams. Cliff Robinson. Cliff Robinson. They couldn't get inside. They had to settle for the jumper, and they made it. You have two seven-footers. Let's see if they'll work down inside. There's Duckworth posting up against West. He's got his shot. Duckworth having a good... Eight-point game right now. Drexler behind, but Danny Young short with it. Drexler with a scoop, and it's six now. Neighbors with his move. Mike McGee for three. Cliff Robinson and releasing was Drexler. And it's a four-point game and a foul committed by Mike McGee after the at the basket. Whether they post Drexler or they take him off the dribble. Petrovic with a drive and a good move by Drazen Petrovic. 85-82. The Trailblazers have come back. Hornacek with a big jumper. Extend the career has really been in major trouble. Final seconds here of this third quarter. Porter goes all the way in. Nothing doing. And the Suns lead will be five. Tom Chambers finally got going with nine points in the period, and that's the end of the third period with the score. Phoenix 89 and Portland 84. Second half, all the second half. And Waning moments of the first, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, you're Portland. You're an excellent striking distance here. Petrovic for three hits. Oh, point. Three point goal. We must Petrovic. add, before we move Cliff Robinson, out to Petrovic. He's got Duckworth, Porter, and another basket. This Drazen is a two-point basket by Drazen Petrovic. But a road victory will send him to the finals tonight. Blocked inside. Wayne Cooper. Here's Petrovic at the other side. And Portland leads it 91 to 90, and a technical foul has been called against Petrovic, apparently. Let's wait for a confirmation. Play by West. Portland had a mismatch to their advantage, and they never found it. Marley wisely slows it up. Hornacek. What a game for Hornacek, 28 points. First great team the third quarter alone. You've got to go back to the penetration. Why Drexler nails one to tie it again at 93. Still a lot of time remaining. 8.15 to go in the fourth period. Phoenix led by three after one and added a point to their lead in each of the second and third quarters. Hornacek right back. No stopping him tonight. He's got 30. See if you take the open jumper. If they do, you take them off the dribble to the basket. Percy. Ties it again. Both teams moving in against West, who's done a good job bodying him, and does another good job. Rebound by Marley. Now the double team on Hornacek. Goes through everyone and scores again. 32 points for Hornacek. The last. Rambis out to Hornacek. They got a two on one now. Hornacek. Oh, my can he do for this team? You know, it's Wakeman keeps saying it's not how fast you go, it's how you read the defense. 100 to 95. Drexler posting up against Marlin. Rebound inside. Duckworth with a fine left-handed move. So no, it's four. One more. Chamber. 102, 97 for that. Under five minutes. Porter nose to nose with Hornacek. Double team now. Porter again. Chambers open. Hits two in a row. Coming through when they need him. He clears it with 4.13 to go, and the lead is five. Percy. Beating Drexler. Get it out. And they push Chambers. And him. Okay, let me tell you that. All the time. 
105-99. Order trying to get free inside. Hornacek stays with him with eight seconds on the shot clock. Drexler loses his footing and throws the ball away. Finally, he loses it. Again, trying to thread the needle. Porter for a three, and he's got it. And it's 105-102. Rambis setting a screen for Hornacek. Long rebound to Kersey, and a three-on-one opportunity for the Trailblazers. And Kersey lays it in, and it's a one-point game. When you're Phoenix, a close game, but Portland is within striking distance of winning and taking the Western Conference title. Ah, missed shot. Rambis. Chambers winds up with it. And the 24-second clock has expired, and the Trailblazers with a chance to take the lead in 2.23 remaining. Kersey shooting over Chambers. Rebound and a big one by Marley. So the Sun still with the lead. Nine minutes to go. Hornacek. Chambers with the basket. You push the ball. You push the ball. That was an excellent move. Porter misses the three. Stolen by Drexler. Drexler is fouled. And will go to the line on a careless play. Drexler is on the line. He is only seven of 11 from the line tonight. Minute and 48 to go. 107 105 Sun. Again, a one-point game. Such a big possession. You would have been up three with a possibility of a, a score or a foul at the other end. Drama of a sixth game, and Drexler with another steal. He has made two critical steals in the last 30 seconds. And Portland looking for the lead. Going to the hoop, and a force by Percy. West has it, and a jump ball called. Jake O'Donnell. Percy. Now, Percy has excellent spring. Chambers has it. Mark West got up there and kind of stole that one. <laughs> A little higher spring. Yes, he did. <laughs> 16 on the shot clock. Buck Williams denying Chambers in that low post. And they're going to call the block on Duckworth moving out against Hornacek. Perfect 12 for 12 from the line. up until now and four of them off the hands of Kevin or Terry Porter who has it right now Porter going in for the two gets the foul and of course a lot of people you said it high score This. Drexler out, pushing out on Marley, making a meet-up time. Chambers with Williams in his face, Buck playing with five. Nine on the shot clock, Hornacek in a crowd. Marley with five seconds to go. Hornacek drives, and it's blocked by Duckworth. Drexler feeding Percy, and the basket's oh, good, and the Blazers lead by one. 27 seconds to go, no timeout call. Hornacek now calls it with 23 seconds left and 20 on the shot clock and the Trailblazers are 23 seconds away from capturing the West. Hornacek has the ball, Porter is with him. 16 on the shot clock. Chambers double team, Hornacek. Seven now, lost ball and Buck Williams comes up with it and they foul Drexler. And Clyde Drexler will shoot two with 6.8 seconds to go. Oh. Right out of that play. Clyde Drexler. Now with 22 points. Danny Young replaces Kevin Duckworth. Danny Young replaces Kevin Duckworth now for Portland. What's that move about? All right, now that's because they want another good defensive player in the game right now. Someone to play off the dribble. Now, 
Phoenix has no timeouts left. Make or miss. Phoenix must push the ball. 112 to 109. Three-point deficit right now. They're going to look for the three. Hornacek fires it up. Wild. Rebound. Buck Williams. The scheme is over. And the Portland Trailblazers have done it. They have won the West. Edelman was right down the stretch in a close game. He knew his team had what it took, and they outscored the Suns 28 to 20 in the fourth quarter, and finally broke the pattern and won a game on the road, beating the Phoenix Suns 112 to 109. And more important, the Trailblazers will have a long rest to get ready for the NBA Finals start next week. Taking over the mantle from the Lakers in the Western Conference are the Portland Trailblazers. We'll be back to hear from them when we return to Phoenix in a moment.